Yes! What is going on? Knox Nation in the building. We are here. We are here. We are here. I hope you guys are there. I have had just all kinds of technical difficulties that shouldn't have existed because we've done enough live streams now. I go to get this live stream ready to go. My camera's not working. Streamlabs won't even locate the camera software, so we had to troubleshoot that. Then I feel like I'm ready to go, and then my mic doesn't work. And then all of a sudden, we can't locate my mic. So it has just been one greatness after another. I was so proud of myself, too, because I'm like, wow, I set a live stream time. This is one of the first lives I'm going to be on time for when I said I was going to be here at 15 minutes past. I was ready. I was ready to rock and roll, but my technology was not, unfortunately. So we are here. So we're going to do some Inception type of stuff real quick because I haven't fully spread the word yet. So let's do a story while you guys are watching me. Uh, what should I say? All right, let's think of something random. Christmas cookies. It is time for Hamilton. We are live. Click that link right now. Okay, I felt like that was good. It's a good first take. Let's grab that link button. Not very time sensitive though with the uh, Christmas cookies. I feel like I could have done better, but hey, that's life sometimes. There we go. Share that. Boom. All right, now we got to take the uh, the cover of this. Just walking you guys through a day in the life of of the Knox. Okay, we got to paste that link. There we go. There we go. I think that says everything. Bam. That's shared. Now we just have to do a quick Twitter share. Tweet, tweet, whoop, whoop, and then we're ready to rock, people. This is it. This is game time. This is the stuff dreams are made out of. I have gone to the potty as well, so I'm a big boy. All right, hopefully we don't have any, uh, any interruptions from that because I realize we're strapped in for a decently long one today. What should I say? Here. Boom. Yeah, I think boom's good. Boom. Let's get it. Live with Hamilton. Can you guys tell that I'm awful at multitasking? Why won't you? Eh, 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 hey. What's going on? Man, Twitter's not even. Twitter. Why won't it let me paste it? Why won't you let me paste it, Twitter? You're messing this up, Twitter. You're messing this up. I'm going to call Jack Dorsey. We got problems, bro. We got problems, Mr. Dorsey. Hey, Twitter. I feel like Twitter's out to get me anyways because Twitter won't even verify me. None of the social media wants to verify me. I mean, you know, I'm at what? Like 600 million thousand subscribers and nobody wants to verify me and gave me a blue check mark and make me look official. You guys know me, don't you? My mom knows me. I got friends who know me. People down the street know me. My neighbors know me. It's bullshit, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Do they curse in Hamilton? Because I, I normally try to match my reactions uh, with what we're doing. Do they curse in Hamilton? Because obviously I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to behave myself if that's the case. Somebody let me know, please. Ding dong! Happy Saturdays! Can't wait to hear your Hamilton analysis. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for the super chat, ding dong. Much love to you. What's going on, people? What's going on? Listen, I'm excited today. A little cursing. Okay, so I can curse a little bit then. We'll have like a curse meter for Knox. I'll behave myself like three times only. Okay. Okay. Listen, where has this come about? Well, those of you who are more dedicated to following the channel, you know that this past Monday and this past Tuesday, we reacted to the magical journey of Encanto. Ever since I've done Encanto, I was very impressed with the writing. I was like, wow, Eminem meets Encanto. I mean, there are bars, there are wordplay, there's symbolism. There's some deeper stuff going on with the production and with the lyricism. And you guys have told me, Lynn manuel Miranda. That is the buzzword. That is the genius behind Encanto. That is also the genius behind Hamilton. Hamilton has won many awards. It has been critically acclaimed, a mixture of hip-hop, into the world of storytelling, into the world of drama in Broadway. 
So I couldn't be more excited to do this one and to see what this is about. And the beauty is I have never, ever seen Hamilton. I've had it requested a lot, and I feel like this is a good time to just dive in blind and to do this live, hopefully with your help. So we have a little bit of guidance. You guys are kind of like Braille for me while I go in blind and do Encanto. So there we are. Some people are saying, I was not expecting this, but so glad to see it. I wasn't expecting it either. You know, sometimes life gives you lemons and you make orange juice. That's how it goes. That's exactly how the saying is. Uh, what else was I going to say? There's one more thing I wanted to shout out, but I think I forgot. Oh, I know what I'm doing. See, this is what happens when you can't multitask. Hang on. There it is. There it is. All right, listen. I got all excited when doing this, and I said I was going to do the full soundtrack. I didn't realize that the full soundtrack is like two hours and 30 minutes. You guys know that I talk and break stuff down. If we did that, I'm going to be here for like a seven-hour live stream. So, thankfully, they've split Encanto. They split Hamilton into two discs, disc one and disc two. So, we're definitely going to shoot to get through disc one today. We'll see how it goes, how much into disc two we can go, and how I'm doing if I'm not broken yet. Um, but, yeah, as long as this goes well, then we will continue the Hamilton journey. So, on disc one, I got... Alexander Hamilton, Aaron Burr, My Shot, Story of Tonight, Schuler Sisters, Farmer Refuted, You'll Be Back, Right Hand Man, A Winner's Ball, Helpless, Satisfied, Story of Tonight, Wait For It, Stay Alive, Ten Dual Commandments, Meet Me Inside, That Would Be Enough, Guns and Ships, History Has Its Eyes on You, Yorktown, What Comes Next, Dear Theodosia, Nonstop. Yes, I'm a rapper. I can do things very fast with my mouth. It happens. Brandon Conway coming through with the Super Chat. Hi, Knox. Happy to catch another live. Hi, Brandon. Welcome to Team Awesome. Thank you for the donation, man. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Z. First time seeing Hamilton. Let's go. Hey, you and me both, brother. You and me both. Thank you so much for the super chat. As you guys know, most of these reactions I cannot monetize. So live streams are a great opportunity to support the channel directly. If you donate, I will shout you out. I really do appreciate it. It does go a long way to helping me and my goal of going full-time here on YouTube. Those of you that cannot afford it, Please do not feel pressured into donating either. I, I really want to encourage that for the people who have a little bit to give, who feel like they want to give a tip, you know, like you tip your pizza delivery man or you tip the, uh, you know, the Uber driver that's dropping your stuff off. Those of you that can't do that, just being here means a lot. Just liking this video, just commenting, just being a part of the discussion. It really does go a long way. Thank you for your support no matter what level it's on. I appreciate you guys. You keep me going and help me to do this. Blue AJ. Hi, Knox. I love your reactions and your breakdown so much. I highly recommend checking out the K-pop group Everglow. They got two good rappers. Some of their best songs are First Pirate, my first live stream I've caught. Welcome to your first live stream, Blue AJ. Thank you for the recommendation. I have seen Everglow before in terms of recommendations. I have never listened to them, though. And you know we like good rappers on here. So that's always fun. I wonder how many people we get today because this is a total wild card live stream. Pax Man. I did the $50 for your reaction to Captain... Hey, there he is! If you're reacting to all, please don't watch out of order. I'm fine with waiting. Paxman, don't worry. Shout out to Paxman, who was on my Patreon. Paxman, you can actually take credit for being the reason why today's live stream is dedicated to Hamilton. I was interested in Lin-Manuel Miranda. And then Paxman came through, signed up for the guaranteed reaction tier, put me on to Hamilton, got my mind wrapped around that. I started looking at it. Figuring out when I was going to do it for him. And then I went, hey, I might as well do a live stream to all of Hamilton. It just makes sense. And such turns the wheel of time and the wheel of life, my people. So everybody thank Paxman and thank Patreon in the chat. Put some fire emoji in there. Let's go. I can't believe this is happening either. Like, I, I don't know what to do with my hands right now. I'm like Ricky Bobby, I don't know what to do with my hands. What do I do with my hands? Hamilton's happening. I'm going to drink a lot of water because this is going to be a strap-in. Mm-hmm. All right, so listen. Microphone is working. That was a good test. Hopefully the sound works. Tell me the sound works. Hamilton. Da, 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 da. Let me just close that real quick. No. Try again. There it is. There it is. Hang on. Just don't want you guys to see some secret files because we might leak future music that we're working on. Right, okay, there we go. We're good. We can bring it back. Come back to the world. 
Can You Do Hell of a Ride by Bo Burnham. It's his most wordplay heavy song, in my opinion. Cyclone 117. Cyclone, thank you so much for the super chat donation, man. Definitely more Bo Burnham coming to the channel. Appreciate that, man. All right, listen. We start off my reactions with a song, as you know. Since we're live, why not do a live song? Let's do a live freestyle to kick things off before we jump into this. So I'm going to need you guys to comment some words, please. Words, words, words in the chat. I will try to read the 100 mile an hour chat and uh, freestyle to your words. And that's kind of how the game is played. Shall we? Never heard this beat either, so this is a true raw freestyle. How's that? How's that level? I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Check. Oh, yeah, ah, uh, let's go, checking on chat, the best to ever do it, I spit facts, no caps, when you typing on your keyboard, holla back, it's a rap, motherfucker got more rhymes than cat in the hat, you imposters can never keep up with me, dog, I smoke you like a Rasta, got the sauce like I'm cooking up that pasta, here we go, shout to me, dropping those rhymes off the top of the mind, shout to the 49, nurse, you don't really want it when I kick it with the drama coming through, baby school, yeah, here we go. Drop that presidential shit like I'm Obama. Hamilton with the flow, drop it down on the stereo when I kick in the scenario. Y'all know I'm a big deal, got big wheels, rims spinning in my mind, and I spin it every time, so divine. Got a world when I'm dropping it on the dime. That's a thunderstorm, raining, brainstorm. Coming in, I bring the thunder, y'all don't need to wonder, I'm an underdog, still I bring it. Rain, sleet, and summer. Every single time I got that hot shit, I drop shit. Ain't no topic I can't fix. I can't quit. I can't spit. I can't do this when I'm coming back. Looking from the clouds as I'm raining down. Just like Zeus, I come down like, ooh. With a bird's eye view. Shackles out to Marshall. Mathers, y'all gon' need to stop that fire, Marshall. When I bring the fire in here, my desire as I spit it through the wire. Ain't no stopping. I'm a rolling stone. I flip it, then I send you back home. Like Carmelo Anthony, I am in my zone. Shout goes out to Syracuse, this dude is spitting rude, you don't really gotta approve, I got them bars, I go hard every time like a prison yard, hold your nose as we're flowing like water, it goes harder, it try to keep up with me, regardless, I spit that hot shit, I got that heart, and I fill every verse with it, take y'all to church with it, they pray for me, but I pray on them, many men. Wish death upon me Chuck was out to 50 But here I am I'm still standing Trying to stand up For what I believe in Yes Feel that head rush Give you those classics Like I'm Disney Plus Can't nobody keep up Running this race Y'all forgot to tie your shoelace Y'all tripping Trying to keep up with me Jack the Ripper Stay ripping Stay gifted Stay with the vision Circle round me, bunch of chefs up in the kitchen But y'all can never cook up what I'm cooking up I'm hot like the pot in the kettle Got the devil dancing on the devil's roof I will never stop Sipping on that liquor cause y'all know I am the proof Got that vodka, headshot ya Put in that work, Putin while I rush in Head rushing, can never keep up There is no discussion Like you bang your head against the wall I leave concussions, don't sleep on me Creeping on me, that's a mistake. Like it rare. I like MCs, well done. Y'all better run. Shining and I'm rising and I make y'all my sons. Trying to teach these lessons to the game, swinging lightsabers, high haters. I am your father. This is Star Wars. I'm a star and I make y'all want more with my war, my conflict that I bring back up in the zone. Wow. And yo, it goes harder. Shout goes out to Jonathan Gorella with the hundred dollars. Coming through with that big super chat saying love the channel and the content. Every single word that I do is heaven sent. So eloquent that I spit, keep it up and drink lots of water for this one. Son, I appreciate it. You know I'm gonna keep drinking, keep thinking, keep trying to do these breakdowns. Every time that I come around, trying to spit that fire in my desire, I ain't never stopping. A lot of rappers pushing on my door. Marvel at me, they want more, but y'all low-key fishy Swimming in my ocean with the sharks, my devotion as I'm eating it raw Eating it up and I'm ripping through this beat I have no idea when this ends, I can't even see the sound waves when I speak So I'm just flowing, like an ocean so devoted 
Shuckles out of Puerto Rico In my mind I'm so rico Knowledge and I'm so rich Knowledge is a weapon and I spit this shit That gives y'all that legit flows Trying not to curse though But I don't give an NFing thing When I step into the ring And I make it fling And I make it all swing Coming with the punchlines Coming with the lunch lines Bullies eat them up This is crunch time this is my time and I'm sicker than a virus I'm just freestyling Better get your stylus Get your pen and sign it You know that I knock them all down Knock the pins like I'm bowling Here we go Ain't no way they stop me when it all goes in motion I don't know what fool killer is But you fools, I'm a killer, I'm the villain And I spit it so hot, never stop Shackles out to one time for hip hop This is Hamilton, about to do the play About to break it down Shackles out to Miranda, I'm about to read him the rights Coming through as I kill it on this mic Let's go Okay There we go I don't know what happened Normally I can at least see the uh, The wavelength for the beat So I have some sort of general awareness while I'm trying to multitask so I can see like maybe where dropouts are in the beat or where the beat's gonna end. That was wild because I couldn't see any uh any wavelengths. But yeah, there we go. That's how we start off these lives. If you're new to the live stream experience, welcome. You get live freestyles off of the words that you type in chat. We had a little bit of wordplay in there. Let me shout out some donos real quick and then we're gonna dive into this because we got a long one. Jonathan Gorilla, I shouted you out, homie. Love the channel and content. Thank you so much. Fire emoji in chat for Jonathan, man. $100 donation. You are the man, Jonathan. Appreciate you, homie. Shout out to Kyrie Gregory. This is my first live stream. I love Hamilton and Lynn Manuel Miranda work. Moana and Encanto being a history buff. I love all reactions. Very insightful. Kyrie, thanks for being here for your first live. Kenneth Nelson. Bro, you must watch Hamilton as well. These songs will hit even harder. You're killing these reactions, bro. By the way, I got to be on with HM yesterday and gave him three words. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed that. That's dope as heck. Jason Xero C, you should look up Freestyle Love Supreme. It's a freestyle improv hip hop group. It's a lot of the people from Into the Heights in Hamilton. Ooh, you know we like that. You know we like that. Imogen. Imogen, always good to see you. Shout out to my Patreon supporter, Imogen Flack, baby. So excited for you. Thank you, Imogen. Thank you for the $50 donation. You are amazing. T Pigeon 0516. Love your breakdowns. Blacklist is fire, by the way. Yeah, if you guys like those freestyles, you like my raps, what I do, I have an album charted on iTunes for the first time on this channel. None other than Blacklist. Over 150K streams on Spotify and Apple Music. Go see what the hype is about. It's a big win for hip hop. I promise I do not let you down. All right, guys. <sighs> I'm ready. I'm ready for today. So remember, we're definitely going to shoot to get through disc one, and we'll see how it goes to get through disc two. Uh, chat, do me a favor. Please try not to give spoilers away. If we're in context of the song and you feel like it helps with my breakdown, because obviously it's not like I'm watching the play, so I get to know background stuff going into each song. If you feel like it helps the context of that particular song, you can say something. But please try to behave yourselves. I know we're going to be excited, but obviously this is a first-time reaction. This is a legitimate reaction for me so let's see how i respond to it all you know you don't want to like spoil it or give stuff away like let me make those connections and, and let me get there sometimes with things if that makes sense but if there's things that can help the breakdown and help the reaction then please do feel free to con to comment casper sandbach and casper what's going on brother another patreon supporter keep it going man good luck with hamilton i think i'm gonna need it man i think i'm gonna need it man i'm pretty excited now the songs explain everything, you're good. All right, that'll be good to know. Thanks for that, Chris. All right, guys. The first song that we have on deck today is none other than Hamilton. Thank you, guys, for all the love for the freestyle. I really do appreciate it. I always tell you, I say the same thing, that, you know, to get better at freestyling, you have to practice. I don't practice freestyling. The only time I ever freestyle is when I do these lives with you right there in the moment. Ja'Cory Robertson, why not watch the play? Uh, because... Well, this is a music channel, so we're going to focus on the musical elements to it. Also, I don't really know about copyright and stuff, and I'm not ready to wade into those waters in a live reaction as well. I also saw a comment earlier that someone said, hey, why don't you just listen to the song all the way through and then react to it? Well, I don't know how aware you are of, of copyright, guys, but it's called transformative content. 
so that, you know, I can exist and not get stricken and not, you know, have my channel removed, I have to pause. I have to break down stuff, right? And also, there's a lot of you who appreciate the breakdowns and, and me pausing and explaining things in the moment in time. But if I just let this whole song play through and then talk about it afterwards, well, I'm pretty much jacking the song then, aren't I? Like, what's the difference between playing it on my channel and then playing it on the other channel? You get what I'm saying? Like, we, we have to create transformative content. That's the whole nature of fair use and copyright claims. So hopefully that addresses that one. I'm ready to go. Let's come through. Three, two, one. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the... Dropped in the middle, snap, but but forgotten. I love how he just goes a little bit outside of the natural rhythmatic pocket right there, hitting right there on that snap track. And let's go, starting off with the rap, the rap flow right away, man. This is obviously about Hamilton because Hamilton was an orphan. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence impoverished and squalor grow up to be a hero and a scholar impoverished by providence and squalor I love that internal condensed scheme man this is really good writing already providence impoverished and squalor grow up to be a hero and a scholar the ten dollar founded father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder the ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther is eminem writing this right now this is too good already alexander hamilton i i would suppose that most of you know who hamilton is or at least a little bit about hamilton he was incredibly influential in the formation of the United States as we know it. He was incredibly influential in our financial institutions and how we established stuff, helped create the first, you know, mint and money for us, even dictated uh, and wanted to have one cent coins, uh, 10 cent dimes. So our currency uh, set up the federal bank, right? Hugely influential, set up how we dealt with debt, set up... Uh, import and export tax on various things set up where our capital was helped influence jefferson with that bringing the capital to washington dc fought in the revolutionary war encouraged the constitution to be written and helped to push that forward when we supplanted the articles of confederacy the man was incredibly influential influential in the infrastructure and founding of our nation i love history yes i do so i'm excited for this Shall we continue? Obama, grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The ten dollar founded father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder, by being a lot smarter, by being a self starter by fourteen. They placed him in charge of a trading charter. And every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away, across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up. In Slaves were being carted away across the waves. He kept his guard up. How many times have we talked about like A rhyme schemes, the A to A's, then to the B to the ardor schemes? I love the complex poetic structure of this rhyme writing right now. Very good. There's a lot of stuff that is lighting up like a Christmas tree right now in terms of the rhyme schemes. Very tight, compact rhymes. You know, I feel like a lot of times when you get a play and the singing and you have rhymes in the singing and rhymes in the lines, like you have just end rhymes. You don't have a bunch of like internal condensed rhyme schemes, right? And I saw someone comment when I did in Kanto that uh, Lin-Manuel studied Eminem and studied rappers' writings, which makes sense because you can tell that the way that this is written already in the first 30 seconds and how it sits technically man very cool placed him in charge of a trading charter and every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up inside he was longing for something to be a part of the brother was ready to beg steal borrow or barter then a hurricane came Devastation rained on man who saw his future drip dripping down the train. Put a pencil to his temple, connected it to his brain, and he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain. Well, the word got around and said, Put the pencil to his temple, and he wrote the first refrain, a testament to his brain. I really like how this is written. I'm going to see where it carries on. I'm going to try to let just more of the song play. Obviously, we got a lot to get through, so I'll, I'll comment where I can. 
and then at the end I'll make some greater commentary. But I've already got an idea here that I want to discuss. But let's just shout out some people super quickly. Uh, shout out to Robin. Robin, good to see you as always, man. Your streams are always at the same time as all the other YouTubers I follow. Their fault. Hope you won't be too tired after this. Yes, shame on the other YouTubers. It's Knox time. Professor Knox is in the building, people. Ariana, so happy to catch this live. I love Hamilton. I can't wait to see you break down these songs. Always sending love and support wherever I can. You know I always appreciate you, Ariana. Thank you so much. Shout out to Drago Shaka. Could you please react to Fables' Aaron Yeager rap? It came out an hour ago. I have, uh, I will do a fable soon. The uh, Saiyan Cypher is on my list to do. First refrain, the testament to his pain. Well, the word got around, they said this kid is cool insane, strings. man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Get your education, don't forget from whence you came. And the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. And there's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait, just you wait. When he was ten, his father split full of it, dead. All right, what's really cool there from a musicality perspective is when Hamilton comes in. My name is Alexander Hamilton. Everything is like building and crescendoing. And once he announces his name, you have this dropout, like this sudden pause in the beat. It's almost like we're breathing to digest that. And it just signals that this is important. This is a very important part because everything's rising, everything's moving. All of a sudden, everything just stops for a moment to focus on our main character, on Hamilton. And after he's done, notice how the beat starts to kick back out again. And then you've got this female voice singing, and what's really cool, we talk about mixing all the time. She's like off to the side of the mix, and I noticed this with Encanto. There was a lot of playing around with where voices were appearing in the mix, and it just felt like you were in a room almost, and the dialogue was happening around you from people standing at different positions in different places. When he was 10, his father split full of it. Dead, ridden two years later, see Alex and his mother bed, ridden half dead, sitting in their own sick, the scent mm. thick, and Alex got better, but his mother went quack. Moving with wow. a cousin, the cousin committed suicide, left him with nothing but ruined bride, something new inside a voice saying, Alex, you gotta fend for yourself. He started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. There would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute he would have been dead and destitute without a cent or restitution started working working for his late mother's landlord trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford scared him for every wow. can get his i tell you what's so cool and yeah i see this more through encanto now and through that lens the production changes it's not just the lyricism and the poetry it's all these little details paid attention to the production the build of the strings, that percussive switch, man, and that flow that came in. And then what's really cool is when you had all the voices, you know, like telling about the unfortunate events of his mother's death, of him getting sick, of how he became an orphan. And then he went to live with his cousin. His cousin passed away as well. Like you have the voices just stacked towards the back of the mix. And like I said, you just, you feel like you're there in the room, the way this is all put together. And what makes it so interesting is you don't know, like every few bars, there's a new production switch. There's a new instrument that's introduced. There's a new type of sound and style to it. And it just keeps it moving. It keeps it so interesting and, and diversified. that new york was sung it felt more like a gospel choir singing for a moment there a little bit of like hip-hop mixed with gospel mixed with just you know stage singing as well
with him. Me, I died for him. Me, I trusted him. Me, I loved him. And me, I'm the damn fool that shot him. There's a million things I haven't done. I wasn't sure everyone was there, but we all know who shot Hamilton. That was Burr right there. Burr being the damn fool who shot. Ooh, ooh, I'm the ooh, this is interesting. Damn fool that shot him. We've got a love story. We've got a story of war. We've got a story of his death. So we've got huge foreshadowing happening here. Man, I got more to say, but we're almost through this. So let's get through this and then talk about it. Wow, now that is an intro. I can only imagine how audiences feel like hearing Hamilton for the first time when you're not used to a play having so much hip hop elements and so much rap into it. Like we still had those play elements, those big sort of orchestral sounds. You know, there was staging, there was a lot of personality, conversational tones taken, but it was cool having that rhythm and that poetry of rap and then some of that soul and then just those dramatic production changes mixed throughout. That's what I found was dope. And I love the buildup. I love how we set it up and we tell the story of Hamilton and his struggle and what he survived through. And then we kind of tell like a coming of age story, like him coming to New York. So we're setting the scene. And I thought we were going to kind of end there. What was pretty interesting was that they like teased you, didn't they? They dangled the carrot because they gave you foreshadowing and they kind of teased of what was to come within Hamilton's story and Hamilton's life and then you introduce different characters I wish I could have seen the characters so I would probably have a better idea of who was who obviously I pointed out Burr but I'm sure we'll get to the other characters as the story goes on yeah that was that's a that's an introduction and a half there people quick shout outs real quick and we'll keep it rolling uh do 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 just Daniel I'll call it now. This stream going to change you as much as the first black pink reaction did. <laughs> hey, man, I'm here for it. I'm ready for the ride. Catherine Cooley as well. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. One, two, three, four. Uzi Knox, how long is a future reaction list? Sounds like 10 pages already. <laughs> Love your breakdowns. It is long, my friend. But we just patiently grind away and work through stuff. Ariana, I second just Daniel. 100% going to be hooked. Oh, I'm looking forward to this journey. Thank you guys for being here. Music is life. Yo, Knox, love that you break down all variety of music. Hamilton is amazing. Blacklist is an insane album. Congrats on it. Thank you, man. Thank you, everyone, for coming through with the Super Chats. It's so dope. Catherine Cooley, the rabbit hole you're about to open up for yourself is crazy. You guys are here with me for the journey. Gunner Girl 30 just said Lynn plays Hamilton, which is great. Wait, Lynn actually wrote this and then played Hamilton? So that was that was Lynn Manuel's voice when Hamilton came forward. I will wait for someone to comment and confirm that. That is amazing. You guys have said yes. Well, my mind is officially exploded right now, and I'm only in in the first song. So <laughs> let's continue on. This what can't this man do? He can sing, he can rap, he can write, he can perform. Come on, not fair. Seventeen seventy six. Oh, 1776. Me and uh, when I would travel and I would get trolled when I was in Europe, especially when I was in England, for our, us not having a history. And I was taken to like churches. I was taken to buildings and from like the 1300s and 1400s. Like, hey, you know, look at this. Look at this. My response would always be, well, I never paid much attention to that history. The only history that I know began in 1776. Yes, I was an American smartass at that point in time. A lot more humbled now, I will say. New York City. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? That depends. Who's asking? Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name. Oh, sure, sir. Getting nervous. I love how right there, to keep that rhyme scheme nervous, sir, that, that three-syllable rhyme scheme, you had Burr respond with the two syllables, and then... Hamilton had to start his next line with the completion of that rhyme scheme to keep within that three-syllable rhyme scheme. That's very clever writing in a pass back, like just good synergy right there. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours, I may have punched him. It's a blur, sir. He handles the financials. You punched the burr, sir. 
Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate. See, uh, I love Hamilton, right? Big fan of, of Alexander Hamilton. I love Jefferson, too, and they were at odds a lot because they had very different interpretations of what government should be and shouldn't be. But I'm sure we will get into this throughout this play. But um, one thing about Hamilton, right, is that like any human being, he had his flaws as well. He went through an affair. He also rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. He had a lot of people who loved him, a lot of people who supported him. He had so much influence within the forming of our government, but he also made a lot of enemies along the way too. Um, and I think one of the critiques was, you know, he, because he led with his heart so much and he was so passionate, he didn't always think things through in terms of some of his words and some of the things that he said. Uh, he was very knee-jerk reaction to stuff. So he rubbed a lot of people the wrong way in that sense. He handles the finance. So I'm not surprised. I don't know this story of him uh, smashing the bursar in the face. <laughs> you punched the bursar. Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate in two and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. You're an orphan. Of course, I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was a war. Then we could prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. Can I buy you a drink? We're more than what anyone bargained for. Wow, that nice little just sped up flow right there. More than we could prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. Can I buy you a drink? That would be nice. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. Huh. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. You can't be serious. You want to get ahead. Yes. Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. Uh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yo, what time is it? Showtime! Like I said. Showtime, showtime, yo, I'm John. Are we getting some beatboxing now? Beatboxing as well in Hamilton? Let's go! Five. Like I said. Showtime, showtime, yo, I'm John Lawrence in the place to Woo. be. A two points to Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. <laughs> Those red coats don't want it. What? Oh, oh, John Lawrence, man, we bring it all around. He, w Hamilton, was his secondary in a duel. I can't remember the name. Here, this is where Jack can help. Uh, what was the name of the guy that Lawrence got into a duel with? Because he was critiquing. He was also he was a he was a military leader, and he was critiquing George Washington and some of his tactics. And uh, in those days, we were on some gangster ish. Like those were the days of dueling. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had to defend your honor. I mean, you would just, you, you would call another dude out and you would duel. I mean, 1776, they were on some gangster-ish. That's all, that's all I'm going to say about 1776 people. And I love how uh, Lin-Manuel picked them getting drunk on Sam Adams. Get it? Sam Adams, president, playing off of the actual beer. Sam Adams, very patriotic. That's just, that's clever. I really like that wordplay. Charles Lee, there we go. Pints and Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. Ha. Those red coats don't want it with me, cause I will pack chicka plack these cops till I'm free. Hey, we oui, oui, mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette. Ha -ha. Oh, I stopped it right before you said it, but I knew that was Lafayette. Come on. Lafayette was a huge influential member as well. The Frenchman fought in the uh, French Revolutionary Wars, tried to help his own nation, and then he came over and also helped our nation as well. Chicka plack. Cops till I'm free. Hey, oui, oui, mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette. The Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir to the king. Cause it's why who is the best. C'est moi. Ha <laughs> ha. Bra, bra. I am Hercules Mulligan. Up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother said, come again. Hey. Lock up your daughters and horses. Of what? course, it's hard to have intercourse over four sets of corsets. Wow. No more sex. <laughs> Pour me another brute. Intercourse over four sets of corsets. Sets. I never thought we'd get this gangsta pimp rap in the building using older historical references and metaphors. This is real life right now. I gotta, I wanna bring, this has to happen one more time. This has to happen. Hang on. I can't even get to Ghost and put the, uh, the earmuffs on Ghost. Ghost, Ghost, this is getting a little spicy. Hang on.
Ghost is still young. We have not had to talk about the birds and the bees. I don't want his mind being influenced by things like this right now, okay? Don't ask any more questions. From afar, just to say bonsoir to the king, cousin toi, who is the best, c'est moi. Bra, bra, I am Hercules Mulligan, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother said, All right, you want to talk about some gangster ish? Hercules Mulligan was a gangster, all right? He was a gangster. Man spied for us. And we all love George Washington. Who doesn't love GW, first president of the USA people? But Washington probably would not be president because his ass would have been captured by the British if it wasn't for my man, Hercules, Hercules. We'll leave it there. Brah, I am Hercules Mulligan, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother said, come again. Hey. Lock up your daughters and horses. Of course, it's hard to have intercourse over four sets of corsets. Wow. No more sex. Pour me another brew, son. Let's raise a couple more to, to the, the revolution. Hey. Well, if it ain't the prodigy of Bristol College. Aaron Burr. Give us a verse. Drop some knowledge. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. You're taking a stand. You spit. I'm a sit. We'll see where we land. Oh. Well, the Revolution's imminent, what do you stall for? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what'll you fall for? Ooh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? That's a great line right there. If you stand for nothing, what will you fall for? I love the setup of this. And again, I love more of the foreshadowing of what's happening. And the characterization of Aaron Burr. Because Aaron Burr, through history, and I'm sure we'll we'll get to more of it, but um, what's the best way I can describe Aaron Burr? Aaron Burr was an opportunist. Aaron Burr was an opportunist, right? He liked power. He wanted more of it. He knew how to play the game of politics. But the difference is that you have someone like Hamilton who's very passionate about his ideas and not afraid to create waves versus Burr who was more, well, personified there. You know, don't say yes, don't say no. Don't, don't play too much of your hand, right? Very sort of scheming, political maneuvering. You know, not necessarily someone who's genuinely in it because they want to make a change. Someone who's going to watch how the house kinds of falls, which side is it going to fall on, and then he'll join, if that makes sense. Much in the same way of talking about revolution, and you have these key revolutionary figures, Hercules, Lafayette, Hamilton, all fought. Burr fought as well, but, you know, you have Hamilton desperate to prove himself and to show his patriotism and to create a new nation, whereas Burr is kind of like, eh, let's, let's, let's see how this plays out first. And this is, this is a characterization of Burr throughout his political career and throughout his life. For nothing, Burr, what will you fall for? What I will be interested to see as this play develops and progresses, because I would assume if the play's on Hamilton, then we're going to lead up to the big duel between Hamilton and Burr. I would love to see how the schism happens and how the play presents it and how that divide is, is sort of carried out amongst the plot. Who are you? Who are you? Who, who is this kid? What's he gonna do? I am not thrown away my... Oh, that's a cool transition. Who are you? Who are you? And then we're coming through with, uh... Is that Hamilton starting? I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not thrown away my shot. I'm, I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. I love that rhythm. I talk about this. That's like an M type of rhythm. You know how you get punchy? I am not throwing away my shot, right? Staccato punchiness on the front end and on the back end. And then in between, you have a faster acceleration of the flow. Nice technique within one singular line right there. All right, quick shout outs before we jump into this song. So Han, I love Arthur. Yo, Knox, I started learning music production after listening to your breakdowns. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thanks for the inspiration, man. Good luck to you on your journey. Thanks so much for the super chat and letting me know that I've had an impact. That's that's really cool. Thank you. Alex Garcia, this is my favorite musical. Very excited to see you going through this today. Love the content. Hey, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. My boy, Pax, man. What's up, Pax, man? I hope you enjoy this today, man. Lynn always writes a character for himself. He wrote Bruno for himself. Did he? Was he actually Bruno? I did not know that. Drock Savage, my last B-Day gift was Hamilton, the Revolution book, which breaks down everything behind the play and his musical thoughts. Send me the book, bro. Send me the book. That is awesome. Thank you guys for coming through with all the super chats and donations, man. I really do appreciate it. What else should I shout out quickly before we jump into the next song? Antra X, 
Thank you, Professor Knox. Burn my mind. Can't listen to any music without searching double meanings. That's the way it is around here. Love Chaos Theory and Blacklist. Hey, a lot of double meanings on Chaos Theory and Blacklist. A lot of triples as well. Ariana. LMM is a true genius. One thing you will begin to notice when listening to the soundtrack full through. Each song ends with the beginning of the next song. That's just like what I did on my Blacklist album. I love the synergy and that connection. The devil is in the details. Just a small detail like that is really dope. I was mind blown when I figured it out. Well, I guess you haven't ruined that because I'm already connecting that and getting there. So thank you as always. Appreciate you. You're always here. Always here on the lives. Always supporting. It really does go a long way. Have I shouted out everybody? Can we keep it rolling? Yes, we can. All right. Let's keep rolling with it. On to my shot. A scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but dag, I'm amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains, but no polish. I got a holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal. My power of speech, unimpeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These New York City streets get cold. I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage. I've learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brandish. I walk these streets famished. The plan is to fan this spark into a flame. But damn, it's getting dark, so let me spell out the name. I am the A L E X A N D E R. We are meant to be a colony that. A-D, we are playing off of the R in his name, but then we are meant to be. Oh, I like the double on his name. A-N-D-E-R, we are meant to be. A colony that runs independently. Meanwhile, Britney keeps shitting on us endlessly, essentially. Oh, they curse. They curse. That's why I put the earmuffs on. Britney keeps shitting on us. That runs independently. Meanwhile, Britney keeps shitting on us endlessly, essentially. They tax us relentlessly. Then King George turns around. A spending spree. He ain't never relentlessly spending spree. The multi syllable schemes that we're coming through with, and I love this punchy delivery, man. Man, listen for not being someone who's like a full time rapper. I really like the flows. I like the flows. They tax us relentlessly. Then King George turns around, runs a spending spree. He ain't never gonna set his descendants free. So there will be a revolution in this century. Enter me. He says in parentheses. Don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. I will lay down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. And I am. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. Ooh, I love when he just pushes it. Like. Right there, he was doing probably two multi-syllable rhyme schemes within a bar before the percussion hits. And that time, he managed to get three of them in before the next percussive hit happened. I love when you push the pace like that. We see M do that a lot on his rhymes. Down my life if it sets us free. Eventually, you'll see my ascendancy. And I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. And hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not thrown away my shot. I dream of life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy, how you say? I use all oh, anarchy. <laughs> when I fight, I make the other side panicky with my shot. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice, and I got job. Oh. It's a local parent. I love how when they did shot there, you had just the percussion, the key hit shot, and it just rose for a quick second, man. With my man, the Frenchman's got flow too. Yo, I'm a tailor's apprentice, and I got child knuckleheads and local parentis. I'm joining the rebellion, cause I know it's my chance to socially advance. Instead of sewing some pants, I'm gon' take a shot. And but we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. You and I do or die. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black battalion. Never another shot. Genius. Who was that? Who was that? Somebody's got to comment who that was. Obviously, I got Lafayette, but who was this last voice here? Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black Shot geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situ Oh, I love just the little switch up. Like the percussion just kicks out for a second. You just have the little plucking. Just subdued down the mix. Oh, that was John Lawrence? Okay, that was Lawrence. Sweet. Your voices. You keep out Oh, that makes sense because Lawrence went down to the south, right? And you talk about the slaves, and Lawrence wanted to free the slaves and then create a black militia with the slaves. All right, that's dope. Trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. Bird.
sir, check what we got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lancelot. I think your pants look hot. Lawrence, I like you a lot. Let's hatch a plot blacker than the kettle calling the pot. What are the odds of God you'll put us all in one spot? Pumping a squad and conventional wisdom like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary manumission abolitionists. Give me a position, show me where the ammunition is. Whoa. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I... That... <laughs> What's really cool about some of this, you know, like show me where the ammunition is, revolutionary, like rap lends itself so well to this because rap is revolutionary in essence, right? Because it, it was the voice of the streets. It was the voice of the downtrodden, you know, where it originated. Its roots had a very rebellious feel to it. So the rebellion found within Hamilton, that's a really dope connection that Manuel made probably when he was thinking about how to present Hamilton and what sort of route to take and, and what genre to dive into. Give me a position, show me where the ammunition is. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited, shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. I am not gonna make my shot. I am not gonna make my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not gonna A little bit bluesy there. You hear the brass just coming for a second. Dun, dun, dun. Again, nice little just introduction of different instrumentation elements. Everybody sing! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, JT, you beat me to it. I was going to wait to the end to comment on this, but I guess I got to do it now, JT. Stop it. Stop it. Remember, let me get to things. Right, the hidden bar in my shot headed Hamilton die. I was thinking about duels, and I was turning over duels in my mind, right? One uh, tactic in a duel, if you want it to end, is you, you throw away your shot, essentially. Very risky, but you show, hey, you know, I know things have escalated, but, you know, this is me showing that I, I actually want to sue for peace. So he's not throwing away his shot. In this duel, his opportunity to make a stand for his country and definitely foreshadowing, playing off of the shot that he threw away because he threw away his shot, essentially, with Burr. But uh, Burr did not. We don't like Burr. Yeah. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that record scratch right there. Come on, let's go. Ah. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. When's it gonna get me? In my sleep, seven Ooh. feet ahead of me. Oh, and then now we have a little bit of that military marching drum in the back of the mix, kind of, you know, foreshadowing because thus far, we're not in the revolution yet. We're talking about the revolution, we're preparing for it. And this is also his shot, possibly the shot of the revolution too. But you hear, you hear what's back in the mix and definitely foreshadowing within the production, I think. See it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like the devil is in the details. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but there are so many details to this. And comment if this is your first time experiencing Hamilton alongside me. Cause this is this is dope, people. This really is. Beat without a melody. See, I never thought I'd live past twenty. Where I come from, some get half as many. Ask anybody why we live it fast and we laugh, reach for a flask. We have to make this moment last. That's plenty. Scratch that. Laugh, flask, have to make this moment last again. See right there, he squeezed in four rhymes into that bar and into that scheme. I love when you get super punchy and push the rhyme scheme. Fast and we laugh, reach for a flask. We have to make this moment last. That's plenty. Scratch that. This is not a moment. It's the movement where all the hungriest brothers with something to prove went. Foes oppose us. We take an honest stand. We roll like Moses, claiming our promised land. And if we win our... <laughs> Bars? Moses? We gotta catch them all around here. Let's go, people. That is a Oh, Moses leading 
his people to the promised land wandering the desert. Hamilton using that as a metaphor equating trying to lead his people to the promised land of revolution. Let's go. Hang on. I got something I want to do. Do I have it? Yeah, I do. Tell you what, I'm going to do something today as well. Right? I've got this one with me. I've got this. I've got this. Knoxomusic.com if you want to get your bars. Got to catch them all shirts. I'm going to give away another one of these. I'm going to give away another sign one of these. Sign one of these to a lucky winner in chat. Don't forget, towards the end of this, I will announce a winner. Signed, physical copy, Blacklist album. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Is that a guarantee of freedom for our descendants? Or will the blood we shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance and death with no defendants? I know the action in the street is exciting, but Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, I've been reading and writing. We but Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, see, he was playing on the biblical scheme and Moses, and then he plays off of Jesus, like just saying, like, Jesus. Wow, that's cool. To handle our financial situation, are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting. Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? The flip in the wordplay there, that was so good. Hang on, I was waiting to shout out more donations until the end, but Ariana contributed to this song. Scratch that as you heard the record scratch. Wow, that is so clever right there, isn't it? Like, scratch that. Forget about that. Let's try this again. Let's reset, but also playing off of the record scratch. So many doubles. Situation. Are we a nation of states? What's the state of our nation? I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing and expectations and act of creation. Now he's getting into a bit of those off rhythms, some of those Bali rhythms, more complex flows now. We like those. We wait in a fashion and smash and every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing at nice. the face of casualties and sorrow. For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow. And I am not away my shot. Wow, that flow in the last like five, six bars in the rhyme scheme, the internal Multi-syllable scheme to the external scheme. That was that was really really good. Expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casual. Actions, act of, action. So he's got the act to act to act, action, act to act, action. Very good writing there. Tomorrow, for the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow. And I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And at the very end, you hear the shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. And just subtly at the back of the mix, you heard the gun fire. That was so clever. You better lose yourself in the music. The moment you want it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. I wonder where our boy got a little bit of influence from for his shot. And again, someone said that uh, when Manuel was pitching this, he said the story of Alexander Hamilton, you know, fits perfectly for rap. And as I just commented, the rebellion of rap, and that example right there, taking your shot, having your moment, have your chance, the underdog story, the rise up. Man, it lends itself so well, doesn't it? You don't think about the connection naturally, but now that I'm sat here breaking this down, it just it like makes perfect sense all of a sudden, doesn't it? I may not live. Right, listen, I'm going to let this, uh, actually, we'll let my shot play, because Knox is already already breaking this. I'll be right back. You know I'm super fast on these. I'll be right back. I got to go to the bathroom. Wait, my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but dag, I'm amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains, but no polish. I got a holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal. My power of speech unimpeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These New York City streets get cold. I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage I've learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brandish. I walk these streets famished. The plan is to fan this spark into a flame. But damn, it's getting dark, so let me spell out the name. I am the A L E X A N D E R. We are meant to be a colony that runs independently. Meanwhile, Britain keeps shitting on us endlessly. 
essentially they tax us relentlessly then king george turns around runs a spending spree he ain't never gonna set his descendants free so there will be a revolution in this century enter me he says in parentheses don't be shocked when your history book mentions me i will lay down my life if it sets us free eventually you'll see my ascendancy and i am not thrown away my shot i am not thrown away my shot and hey, yo i'm just like my country i'm young scrappy and hungry and i'm not thrown away my shot i am not thrown away my shot i am not thrown away my shot and hey, yo i'm just like my country i'm young scrappy and hungry and i'm not thrown away what's going on team quick shout out hocus all did you catch the shook ones homage Ain't no such things as halfway crooks. No, I didn't. Please feel free to comment in the comment section. Darrell Ori has super chatted ten dollars. Thank you so much. Shelly Richardson coming through. Always good to see you, Shelly. Thank you so much for the super chat donation as well, guys. Really does go a long way. You know that I appreciate you. I am back. We are on to the story I may not of tonight. Let's keep it rolling, people. Be honest with yourselves. How many people are gonna go watch Hamilton after this now? I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I will gladly join the fight. But I will gladly join the fight. And when our children tell our story. And when, when our, our children, children tell our story. They'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Raise a glass to freedom. Something they can never take away. No matter what they tell you. Wow, no. Honestly, I was not looking for the uh, the Shook Ones shout out because you your mind does not naturally look for that, does it? But I got a program in my brain now just for hip-hop references. So clever. Only 19, but my mind is older. Such a great bar to put in your right, AJ. Thanks for shouting that out. Shout out to my mom, man. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Let's have another round tonight. Raise a glass to freedom. Something they can never take away, no matter what they tell you. Raise a glass to the four of us. Tomorrow there'll be more of us telling the story of tonight. They'll tell the story of tonight. Raise a glass to freedom. Something they can never take away, no matter what they tell you. Let's have another round tonight. It's a glass to the four of us. Man, we got this in Encanto. For me, I really love the blending of harmonies and just the stacking of vocals, just to give it such a full sound, man. Such a warmth to the mix. Have another round tonight. It's a glass to the four of us. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Telling the story of tonight Let's have another round tonight They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight Raise a glass to freedom They'll tell the story of tonight tell the story of tonight Ooh. And see, that provides a really good variety. You know, that feels like a setting the scene now. You know, like the calm sort of before the storm. And I mean, let's let's just recap. We've had beatboxing on this. We've had raps. We've had internal condensed rhyme schemes. We've had some really dope flows and flow changes. We've had DJ scratching. We've had hip-hop homage being paid, like Shook Ones. We've had classical music and production thrown in there we've had brass we've had big band sounds and samples we've had some crazy production changes and then we've had more thoughtful melodic a little bit emotional with the piano all the while while we're telling the story and sort of setting the scene for hamilton as he's come to new york the friendships that he's made looking forward to hopefully the birth of a nation this is cool and we keep the journey going. Justin Hall, thank you so much for the $10 donation, brother. Hey, man, if you find the time, it's not rap, but it's a cover of Zombie by the Cranberries. It's by Bad Wolves to do a ton of meaningful or storytelling songs. Thank you so much for the direct donation, man. Filling up the uh, 
the sexy chicken meter, man. Much love to you. Definitely. My mods take a note of all the recommendations that you guys do. Mick King's well. Lynn Manuel is crazy good. He did some songs for Moana too. I wish I could donate 10,000. Blacklist is sick. Hey, man. Thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate it. Hey, guys, while you're here, hit that like button. Let's get the word out. Let's get more people in here appreciating Hamilton, right? Let's convert everyone. This is the revolution of Hamilton. Let's do it. There's nothing rich folks love more. What the hell was that? This is like. We got like a run DMC, the way that that just came in. Bro, it's tricky to rock around, new rock around us. Right on time, it's tricky. But right there, it just bounced like one side of the mix to the other side with the drum roll there. That was dope. Wow. I didn't bounce on one side. That went here to here and back to there. That was really cool mixing. Rich folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the commons. This is cool. I'm stopping already because I just I'm nerding out right now because this is this is like old school hip hop rap and like you know early '90s type of style, late '80s style. Really cool, like the way the words are delivered, especially end rhymes, like the cadence that's used, the way that they're held out. Love that. Town and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh -oh, but they pull up in their carriages. Hey, man, I'm telling you, we're on some gangster-ish back then. Nothing like rolling up in your carriage, baby. And just to watch him talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh-oh, but little does he know that his daughter's Peggy, Angelica Eliza, still in the city just to watch all the guys. It work, work. Angelica, work, work. Oh. Eliza, and Peggy, work, the Skyler We got a lot of old school homage here, man. Angelica, Peggy, Eliza, work. Daddy said to be home by sundown. Daddy doesn't need to. Feels like a Jackson 5 vibe now. Oh, Daddy said not to go. A, B, C. It's as easy as one, two, three. Home by sundown. Daddy doesn't need to know. Daddy said not to go downtown. Like I said, you're free to go. But look around, look around. The revolution's happening in New York. New York. Nice. I'm looking for a minded work. I'm looking for a minded work. I'm looking for a minded work. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's nothing like some of those. Ooh, ooh, those harmonies are getting me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Ooh. There's nothing like somewhere in the city. Someone in a rush, next to someone looking pretty. Excuse me. Somewhere in the city, somewhere in a rush. Summer in a rush? There's nothing like summer in the city. Someone in a rush. Oh, summer in the city. Someone in a rush. Wow, that's really good writing to rhyme the entire lines there. There's nothing like summer in the city. Someone in a rush. Next to someone looking pretty. Nice. Excuse me, miss. I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. But you're summoning in the city in your fancy heels. You're searching for an urchin who can give you ideals. Sir, you just. Ah, so you've discussed me. I'm a trust fund, baby. You can trust me. <laughs> common sense by Thomas Paine. So many. Oh, common sense by Thomas Paine. Let's go. Historical references drop here. Our tents are all insane. You want a revolution? I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths. Oh man, I mean, what a what a pickup line right there. I'm a trust fund, baby. Trust me. I mean, Burr was a trust fund, baby, and Burr's coming in with just some nice flows, man. I've been reading. Picking up the ladies, but failing. Common sense by Thomas Paine. So many say that I'm intense or I'm insane. You want a revolution? I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created equal. And when I'm. I'm making a declaration, playing off of the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self evident. Come on! We hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created equal. And when I'm Thomas Jefferson, oh. I'm a compel him to include women in the sequel. Work! Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. History is happening in Manhattan and we just happen to be in the greatest city in the world. In the greatest city in the world. Cause I'm around, 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 I'm around,
okay, using lines now with a different sort of harmony to it at the back of the mix. That's very dope. I've been reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine. You know what this reminds me of? You know, Alicia Keys. New York definitely has that feel. And, you know, hip hop, Harlem birthplace of hip-hop nyc i mean come on celebration of new york you see the connections as well and obviously at this time new york was a pivotal city for the revolution man Notice right there how I was punching in. Obviously, you can catch the rhythm on the work, work. And then we just kind of changed the tempo. Well, the feel of the tempo, the actual tempo of the song didn't change, but it felt like it changed because they sped up the work, works. Instead of just waiting for every downbeat, they started just punching in the work, works every time right there. getting hot in here let's go oh man oh not only did we have good rapping now we have had some very talented female singers bless the microphone take me to church on that one people that was that was good that was good those vibes man what's your favorite song so far comment i'm getting groovy today i'm having fun with this this is what it's about isn't it let's just have fun today answer s definitely check out more Ham definitely will check out more hamilton songs can't believe i slept on it sounds really cool answer welcome welcome to the club m Brumagen, thank you so much for the super chat appreciate you mick king's well lynn manuel is crazy good he did songs for mo oh yeah we've already done that one thank you guys for the super chats let's keep it rolling Hang on, Vanessa said I missed your super chat. Vanessa, it's not it's not coming up in my feed. Da 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 da. Oh, Vanessa, huge fan of musicals and Hamilton is killer. Thanks for doing this reaction. By the way, saw your little girl on Emma Corday vid reaction. She is adorable. Latino power. A. Hey, thank you so much. Shout out to my twin daughters at home. Shout out to my beautiful wife taking care of them, spending time with them, so that I can spend time with you guys on this beautiful Saturday. Hear ye, hear ye! My name is Samuel Seabury, and I present free thoughts on the proceedings of the continent. Wait, 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 hang on. My name is Samuel Seabury, and I present free- Oh, Samuel, Samuel Seabury. He clashed with Hamilton because he was a loyalist. He wanted to keep drinking tea and paying tax on it. Thoughts on the proceedings of the Continental Congress. Heed not the rabble who scream revolution. They have not your interest at heart. Oh my God, tear this dude apart. Chaos. I love this, how it just feels so classical right here with the production. And I, this feels like it's going to set up really good to come in and have like a totally different production in response to it. Have not your interest at heart. Oh my God, tear this dude apart. Chaos and bloodshed are not a solution. Don't let them lead you astray. This Congress does not speak for me. They're playing a dangerous game. I pray the king shows you his mercy mm. for shame. For shame. Yeah. He'd have not you the all unravel at the sound of screams, but the revolution's coming. They back. have not a good old interest at heart. Hard to listen to you with they have not your interest at heart. He sang that on the front, right? So, Seabury was singing his lines, but then Hamilton, at the back of the mix, who was rapping, used have nots in a different way, right? Not saying you have not, they don't have it saying that the have-nots, the ones who aren't winning, the ones who don't have right now. Clever double, 
literally delivered as a double with the singer singing in one meeting and Hamilton rapping underneath singing a different meeting. And what great writing that like they're saying some different words and then some of the other words are exactly the same. That is a different level of complexity and thought process. That's really cool. The revolution is coming. They have not gonna win. Just at hard to listen to you with the straight. At heart, it's hard the way that they said that to line up so it sounded the same like a homophone. That was cool. Revolution is coming. They have not gonna win. Just at hard to listen to you with the straight face. Chaos and bloodshed already haunt a soft solution and even talk. And what about Boston? Look at the cost and all that we've lost. And you talk about Congress does not speak. My dog speaks more eloquently than me. A dangerous dream. Your mind is the same. The king shows you his mercy. Is he in Jersey? For oh, shame for the revolution. For oh, shame for the revolution. Yourself again, I'm gonna scream. scream. Honestly, look at me, please. Don't. Wow, scream solutions. So many words that they're overlapping, and yet they have two completely different perspectives. This is really well done. This might be my favorite so far. Repeat yourself again. I'm gonna scream. scream. Honestly, look at me, please. Don't read. Not your interest. Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me. Why should a tiny eye? I... Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me. Woohoohoo! Musical bars. Interest. Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me. Why should a tiny island across the sea regulate the price of tea? Alexander, please. Bert, I'd ra regulate the price of tea. No taxation without representation, people. Tiny island across the sea regulate the price of tea. Alexander, please. Bert, I'd ra Can you hear right there? Price of tea. Hear how the strings went do do do. Price of tea. There's some great moments too where the production just matches the rhythm of the schemes as well. Any island across the sea regulate the price of tea. Alexander, please. Bert, I'd rather be divisive than indecisive. Drop the niceties. Silence. A message from the king. Remember I said a little while ago I was wondering how we were going to develop this contrast between Hamilton and Burr. There's a great example right there of Burr jumping in, telling him to, you know, kind of slow it down, and Hamilton going, no, I'm standing up for what I believe in here. Wow. That was that was so clever. That was so clever. And the way that was sung that you know it could be like your typical play at the time. The classical type of sound, right? The rise and the fall, the way that it's sung, it's very stage like if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like when you when you get on a song like a a pop star singing. There's a certain way to sing for a song on the radio versus like if you're an actor in a play in the way that you sing, right? So what I felt was really cool there was that you started off and it was sung, right? The Seabury part was sung like it's a play and it felt like a play. But no, 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 no. Lynn's like, no, it's not just a play. And that's when all of a sudden you start to introduce Hamilton rapping underneath. And it's something more. And then the way that he's rapping and how cleverly that's written where every few lines, they overlap. And yet they're saying completely different things. And think about how it's mixed too. Because you have two voices speaking at once. But it doesn't feel like that in the mix. In the mix it feels like they're at different locations. In different places. And you can hear both of them very clearly. So to pull this off, you got to be very clever with your writing. But you also got to pull it off sonically from a sound perspective. And the way that that is performed and delivered. The complexities to that really dope and cool and then I love just some of the rises and the falls the production how it matched some of the rhythms and flows that was dope man all right you'll be back let's keep it rolling actually hang on hang on hang on hang on we got more shout outs if listen if you guys donate you know I'm gonna shout you out Dave flicking jerk keep up the good work hope you're ready for some straight sanging coming up so many jams in Hamilton wait for it is a straight up album single Ooh, that sounds good man I'm excited for that. Thank you so much for the super chat donation. Let's get some fire emoji in chat for all the people who are super chatting. Also, if you're here right now, like this video, please. Helps get the word out to others. You say the price of my love is not a price that you're willing to pay. You 
cry. The price of my love's not the price that you're willing to pay. We got a heartbreak love story here. The price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. You cry into your tea, like sipping on tea into the sea when you see me go by. Are we alluding to the Boston Tea Party here when all the tea was dumped out overseas? Are we are we alluding to a double here? Your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away Now you're making me mad Remember despite our estrangement, I'm your man Despite our estrangement, I'm your man? This is a new character You'll be back, soon you'll see You remember you belong to me You'll be back Time will tell You remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to shove I will send a fully armed battalion To remind you of my love da 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 Oh, that is very, very clever writing right there. And the twist, I think what, what finally gives it away, there's a lot of illusion happening, you know, like oceans between us, the rise of empires, right? You have a lot of illusion to the British Empire, the Boston Tea Party that I pointed out, but right there, right? It's still a love song. Like you get my heart broken, I feel like I could send a full battalion after you. You know, you piss me off that much. But literally... King George sending a full battalion because you don't respect my love anymore. And this breakup is not going to go down very pretty. The breakup of America from England. Wow. This is this whole song is a double. I love how it's written from the perspective of a relationship with these deeper metaphors and historical references going on to the American Revolution for independence. And just the way that he starts singing this da 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 da. I could just picture the king like strutting around on stage right now. This has to be one that everybody just laughs and has a good time with this performance here. I love da 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 da. Oh, the bars, baby. We're here for the bars. Let's go. No, don't change the subject. You're my favorite subject. Literally, you guys are my subjects, my colony. Oh, come on. Because you're my favorite subject. My sweet sub Also, like the favorite subject, the subject of his writing. We'll give that a triple. We'll definitely give that a triple, right? Let's go. You're my favorite subject. My sweet submissive subject. Forever. Sweet, submissive, we got sexual bars as well. My loyal, royal subject. Forever. And ever. And ever and ever and ever. <laughs> you'll be back. Forever and ever. Like, you know, two lovers in love, wanting it to be forever. But also King George is like, e you ain't going nowhere. You're with me. Before I will fight the fight and win the war for your love, for your praise, and I'll love. 
I will fight the fight and win the war, like this war of love, but literally going to win the revolutionary war. The writing is so clever. For your love, for your praise, and I'll love you till my dying days. When you're gone, I'll go mad, so don't throw away the sting we had. When you're gone, I'll go mad. He was known as the Mad King George. <laughs> Come on. Mad, so don't throw oh, the sting we heard. Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Da 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 da. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> the dark twisted humor of that and then he just starts singing like he's skipping through a field of daisies right now and there's rainbow unicorns flying through the skies american blood is flying everywhere i mean this is this is a love letter this is a love letter to our nation right here people <laughs> wow to remind you of my love da, what da, a great da, twist da, da. And again, the string plucking is so perfect right there. Do, 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 do. It just adds this light, airy bounce to it, even though he just said some really twisted, messed up shit. Like we're just all holding hands drinking the kool-aid right now as we skip through the rainbow field before we collapse from the cult oh my god i would stand up and applaud at this moment that would make me applaud you know that <coughs> I'm too excited now. It's one thing when you have like a double entendre within a line or maybe a verse. It's another totally different beast and animal to write an entire song that is a double entendre. We've talked about it before with songs like Eminem's Darkness, with other tracks. I've written songs that are double entendres like Murder in the Booth when I was John Wilkes Booth, but I talk about modern day things, right? Focus, kind of like a love letter to hip hop in a sense. And I will tell you from personal experience, from breaking this stuff down, the, the mind power and the concentration that it thinks, because you have to carefully craft each and every single line so that it could fit within the one thing that you're talking about, but also that there's underpinnings and enough meeting that it talks about the double. And then what you have to think about with this double is at what point do you want your audience to get it? And then like, you don't want them to get it right away, right? You want to hint at it. Maybe you want them, like the really tuned in ones, to pick up on it like halfway through. But by the end, you want everybody to be clued in on the double, don't you? And essentially, that's what it did. It was very clever writing and a good feel for the audience because we were, we were clued in by the end of it, weren't we? And then what's really cool is after you get the audience clued in on the double, we'll all go back and listen to it now. And we'll listen to it with a brand new lens. And then we'll start picking up on stuff in like the first, second, third, fourth line that we didn't pick up in the first place because we weren't in on the secret. Very, very, very good writing from that. And that gets a round of applause from me. I got more people to shout out real quick. We're over a thousand viewers. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for hitting that like button, for getting everyone in. Let's keep it rolling. This is so much fun today. Right. Who am I shouting out before the next song? Okay. Okay. KM, loving it here. Please do the Hamilton mixtape next. Oh my God. There's a Hamilton mixtape as well? Who's on the Hamilton mixtape? What are you people doing to my life? Kirk Miller, thank you so much for the super chat. You are awesome, Knox. Need some more info on the Patreon and Discord channels. Kelly or Ahmad, AJ, anyone who's there right now, please link our boy Kirk to the Patreon. Hook him up into the Discord as well. Let's get him in there. We'd love to become a member and support. Blessings. Also, one of those signed albums. I highly enjoy the music. Kelly, also link him to knoxillemusic.com where he can get a signed CD. Thank you so much, Kirk. Anna Boleyn Villa Fuerte. Thank you so much for everything you do. Love from Peru. Thank you so much, Anna. 
Really appreciate the love. Young IC, baby Knox, what's up? Can we get a reaction to Eminem Freestyle on Tim Westwood? Definitely, definitely on the list. The Eminem Kickoff Freestyle is on the list. The one Shady Cypher that we didn't do yet, and that is on the list as well. Thank you so much. Alex Garcia, now watching while shoveling snow in NY. Love the stream. Much, much love to you in NY, man. Hope it's not too much snow to shovel. But hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm glad I can help you pass the time a little bit better. Oh, I still can't ever pronounce this right. Tawita. Tachwita. I can't. Why can't I do it? Oh, man. The guy singing as the king is the same guy who voices Kristoff in Frozen. Also, this live is so fun. What is happening to my Frozen life? I know Frozen. I have twin daughters who have Frozen dresses. And their last birthday party was a frozen theme party. I'm not afraid to say that. All right? I dance around the kitchen, spinning around like a ballerina singing Let It Go. Yeah, you can never unsee that after I've said it, can you? <laughs> Name coming soon. Hope you watch the short Weird, Weird Al Hamilton Polka where he sings the songs but as Polka. I gotta stretch. I'm gonna stretch. Really? That's a thing? We definitely are bringing a Weird Al Yankovic to the channel. That's gonna happen. I gotta stretch. Oh, we stand for... Mucho tiempo. What else we got? Let's do one more shout out and then we'll jump back into it. Nope, that's all the people to shout out right now. Okay, we've got a serious issue. Royce is on the mixtape. Royce the 5 9 is on the Hamilton mixtape. How has this not crossed my path before? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? AJ just says, I respect you more for that ambition, Knox. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love a little self-deprecation? Are we setting up when Washington lost New York? All right, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry, I had to pause it. Nas is on it, Busta Rhymes is on it, Snow the Product is on it, and Watsky is on it. Okay, well, uh, okay, yeah. Stop lying to me. I don't believe any of you. That's ridiculous. You'll just tell me anyone's on it now. As a kid in the Caribbean. Listen, here was nobody on planet Earth is going to tell me that Washington was a good military tactician. Washington kind of sucked. I'm going to be honest with you. Washington's win-loss ratio was not good. It was not good in battles. The good thing that Washington did was he didn't let his ass get caught and most of his army get destroyed. Man was really good at retreating and knowing when to pull the parachute cord, right? So I guess in one sense, he didn't let hubris get the best of him, and uh, he stayed cool-headed through it. But, you know, we, we, you guys have learned this bit of history. We, we all have that, you know, the Americans realized they were outmanned, out-resourced. They knew that if they carried on guerrilla-type warfare and the longer they dragged on the war, the crown being such a large empire, having so many interests and conflicts abroad dealing with the French at the time, they knew the more they dragged this on, the more they had a chance of winning. The, the other part that's very important that helped us win the war was not American military superiority. It was the French helping our asses out. They were also very pivotal in us winning the Revolutionary War. Let's continue. As a kid in the Caribbean, I wished for a war. I knew that I was poor. I knew it was the only way to rise up. If they tell my story, I am either gonna die on the battlefield in glory or rise up. I will fight for this land, but there's only one man who can give us a command so we can rise up. Understand, it's the only way to rise up, rise up. Here he comes. Here comes the general. Ladies and gentlemen. Ha. Here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, man. The way.
way that that hits and just sets up the general, general Washington, baby. General. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for, here comes the general. The pride of Mount Vernon, here comes the general. It's Washington. We are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. We gotta make an all out stand. Hey, yo, I'm gonna need a right. Who's going? Let's go. Who is going to Vegas with me? Who is going to Las Vegas with me? I put that on Ghost. I put that on everyone. I have not heard this song before. I have not heard this before. Did I just say outgunned and outmanned? And then it just got dropped literally two, three bars later into it? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, that is an awesome moment. I'm just uh huh, uh huh. Same wavelength. Same wavelength. Outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. We gotta make an all out stand. Hey yo, I'm gonna need a right hand man. Can I be real a second for just a millisecond? Let down my guard. Ooh, that little synth out distortion as it drops down. Dun dun. Can I be real a second? It just brings you in, man. Nice flow switch, too. Can I be real a second for just a millisecond? Let down my guard and tell the people how I feel a second. Now I'm the model of a modern major general, the venerated. The model of a modern. Again, just very clever, subtle writing that just. Bends it into the rhyme scheme, man. Very good. Ooh, how I feel a second. Now I'm the model of a modern major general, the venerated Virginian veteran whose men are all lining up to put me up on a pet. God, that rhyme scheme and flow right there. Well, the venerated Virginian veteran whose men are all lining up to put me up on a pedestal, writing letters to relatives embellishing my elegance and eloquence. But the elephant is in the room. Ooh. Letters to relatives embellishing my elegance. Relatives embellishing my elegance. The elephant is in the room. That is a ridiculous rhyme scheme there, it's people. It's eloquence, but the elephant is in the room. The truth is in your face when you hear the British cannons go. <laughs> Any hope of success is fleeting. Oh, the cannons right there. And just the way that it hits with the voices to the side of the mix. That was dope. Face when you need to listen to this in surround sound. The British cannons go. <laughs> Any hope of success is fleeting. How can I keep leading when the people I'm leading keep retreating? We put a stop to the bleeding as the British take Brooklyn. Night takes Rook, but look, we are outgunned, outmanned. Night takes Rook. I love that scheme because at the back of that and what's being insinuated is, you know, ultimately what are we trying to take? The king? Get it? King George? That was very clever. Night takes Rook, but look, we are outgunned, outmanned. Down the battery, check the damages. We gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages. We gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages. Again, what I really like about that and how this is written is there's just so many elements that feel like they could apply to just a hip hop song in modern day, but really because of his word choice and just how he's delivering this stuff, it applies to back then. Very dope. Down the battery, check the damages. We gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages. Let's take a stand with the even in the back of the mix, bra, you know, just a little ad lib again that you would get on a hip hop track today. Damages, we gotta stop them and rob them of their advantages. Let's take a stand with the stamina God has granted us. Hamilton won't abandon ship, yo. Let's steal the cannon. Goes the cannon, watch the blood and the shit spray. And goes the cannon, we're a band. Okay, is this? Do we got like a little John beat going in right here. We getting crunk on this shit. Goes the 
can and watch the blood in the shit spray. And <laughs> goes the can and we're abandoning Kip's Bay. And <laughs> there's another shipping. <laughs> we just lost the sub and tipping. <laughs> we got him on the Harlem quick. Man, I love how the cannon shot goes with a boom and just right there, everything just drops out for a second. That's so cool, man. It's like you got like the delivery in the main track here, and then boom, it goes out wide. Keep delivering. Boom, it goes out wide. It just gives you such a great sense of space in the headphones and goes the can and watch the blood in the shit spray. And <laughs> goes the can and we're abandoning Kip's Bay. And <laughs> there's another shipping. <laughs> we just lost sub and tipping. <laughs> we got him on the Harlem quick. We can't afford a we got him on the Harlem quick. I mean, come on, that flow. There's another shipping. <laughs> we just lost the sub and tipping. <laughs> we got him on the Harlem quick. We can't afford another slip. Guns and horses, giddy up. I decide to divvy up my forces. This skittish as the British cut the city up. This close to giving up. Facing mad scrutiny. I scream in the face of this mass mutiny. Are these the men with which I am to defend America? We ride at midnight, Manhattan in the distance. I cannot be everywhere at once, people. I'm in dire need of assistance. Your Excellency, sir. Who are you? Aaron Burr, sir. Permission to state my case. As you were. Sir, I was a captain under General Montgomery. Oh, Aaron Burr, sir. As you were, sir. We're alluding to that rhyme scheme that was used in the Aaron Burr, sir, reference. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, people. Knox has to... I'll be right back. Oh, this is terrible timing. All right, we're at 301. 301. I'm going to play it from the beginning. Come on, Knox. Get better than this. Come on. 32,000 troops in New York Harbor 32,000 troops in New York Harbor As a kid in the Caribbean, I wished for a war. I knew that I was poor. I knew it was the only way to rise up. If they tell my story, I am either gonna die on the battlefield in glory or rise up. I will fight for this land, but there's only one man who can give us a command so we can rise up. Understand, it's the only way to rise up, rise up. Here he comes. Here comes the general. Ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for. Here comes the general. The pride of Mount Vernon. Here comes the general. To Washington. We are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered. I love when I leave and you guys just make Ghost the star. I'm not jealous at all of him. Live stream tip. All that is going through and out. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. That's probably not the best of live stream decisions to have that big of a water bottle 301 there we are was that tmi that's okay aaron burr sir permission to state my case as you were sir i was a captain under general montgomery until he caught a bullet in the neck in quebec and well in summary i think that i could be of some assistance I admire how you keep firing on the British from a distance. I have some questions, a couple of suggestions on how to fight instead of fleeing west. Yes. Well, Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. meeting. As I was saying, sir, I look forward. I love how they both said we keep meeting in unison right there. Come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. meeting. As I was saying, sir, I look forward to seeing your strategy play out. Burr, sir, close the door on your way out. Have I done something wrong, sir? On the contrary, I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Sir? Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Sir! Don't get me wrong, you're a young man of great renown. I know you stole British cannons when we were still downtown. Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox wanted to hire yeah, you. To be their secretary, I don't think so. Now why are you upset? I'm not. It's all right, you want to fight, you've got a hunger. I was just like you when I was younger Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr Yes, dying is easy, young man Living is harder Why are you telling me this? I'm being honest I'm working with a third of what our Congress has promised We are a powder keg about to explode I need someone like you to lighten the load So? I am not throwing away my shots I am not throwing away my shots just the symmetry and the connection and now we come back with I'm not throwing away my shot that we had towards the beginning of this soundtrack really cool all the different connections and different points that get reintroduced throughout this the Aaron Burr part and then this part as well 
I am not throwing away my shot. Son, we are outgunned, outman. You need all the help you can get. I have some friends. Lawrence Mulligan, Marquita Lafayette. Okay, what else? Outnumbered, outplanned. We'll need some spies on the inside. Some king's men who might let some things slide. I'll write to Congress and tell them we need supplies. We rally the guys. Master king's men who might let some things slide. Back to the chess game as well. Clever wordplay right there. And then Mulligan ended up being one of the key spies that we talked about towards the beginning of this. Lafayette was huge in getting the French involved and helping with diplomatic relations with that. Things slide. I'll write to Congress and tell them we need supplies. We rally the guys. Master the element of surprise. I'll rise above my station. Organize your information till we rise to the occasion of our new nation. So Here comes the general. Right hand man. Ooh. Ooh, that boom and cannon shot to end it. And obviously that marching band drum again, you know, makes us feel like we're in the middle of the conflict. I love again, again, key story here. Hamilton and Burr. Similar interests, I suppose, in terms of them wanting their glory. Right? Because Hamilton he wanted his glory. You know, I, I say Burr would do anything for his glory, but different sort of means to try to get to that glory and get to that renown, if that makes sense, in different ideological systems as well. Interesting there how they had Burr go, you know, I really admire how you fire at the British from far away. Much of Burr's sort of stance on how he handles politics and not giving away too much and playing his cards close to his chest, he would appreciate a tactic like that, whereas Hamilton is more so, all right, what can we do to help turn this? And then we also have the illusion. I love that. So what Lynn did that I thought was clever, you know, you had like the Sam Adams scene. You had them kind of at the bar. You have them meeting and developing this relationship. And it comes to find out that this relationship between them becomes pivotal and key to our world history and to American history later on. And here is kind of a turning point and sort of a fruition of that foreshadowing that he did. See how things are starting to come around now? You know how key Lafayette is, our French rap man. Mulligan as well. And man. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. We have some shout outs to do real quick before we keep rolling? I think so. Hey, Eve Bogerd. Or Eve Bogerd? I don't know if I mess up that enunciation. Keep the fire burning higher. Smoking haters like a pyre. Want to expire while you expand your empire. Dropping knowledge about bars like bombs. Brighten up the sky like lightning. Never stop fighting. Because what you doing, what you love, you're doing the right thing. Let's go. I don't know if that's how you meant the flow to be, but that's just how I read it super quickly without any prep. KM is super chatted. They're not lying. You have to check out that mixtape. I think we will have to do that mixtape, man. I think we will. Let's go. Thank you guys for all the super chat donations. It's time for a winter's ball. By the way, where did my phone go? Oh, we don't do that. Just making sure. Also, shout out. I'm giving away one of these. Signed Blacklist album. One of you is going to win one of these today. If you like the shirts as well, knoxillmusic.com. Love you guys. Winner's ball. Let's go. Oh, you know what? Before we go into the winner's ball, silly Knox, tricks are for kids. The most important part of Right Hand Man was we're establishing George Washington in his very close, trusting relationship with Alexander Hamilton. And, you know, once Washington became president, he brought Hamilton on into his cabinet. And, I mean, honestly, it wasn't just the economy and our financial institutions that Hamilton influenced. A lot of other issues that weren't within Hamilton's job description, Hamilton also was asked by Washington what his opinion of. He had a lot of influence with Washington, and Washington really trusted him. And this trust develops through the Revolutionary War. You know, nothing like being brothers in arms and being in the middle of battle and being in the middle of a war to create that chemistry and to create that bond that was never broken really between them. How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore go on and on grow into more of a phenomenon? Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth bother. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Washington hires Hamilton right on sight. But Hamilton still wants to fight, not 
right Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable But what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies There are so many to the flower I was not wait, wait ready for that switch up right there. I mean, we were getting more thoughtful, more deeper here about, you know, sort of career choices and the path of Alexander Hamilton. And then we switch over to the ladies. It's too fight, not right. Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable. But what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. There are so many to the flower. Ladies, looks proximity to power. It is winter right now. It is not springtime. I don't want ghosts asking questions about deflowering ladies. There are so many to deflower. Ladies. Looks proximity to power. Ladies. They delighted and distracted him. Martha Washington named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. 1780, oh winter's ball, and the Skylar sisters are the envy of all. Yo, if you could marry a sister, your rich son. Is it a question of if ver or which one? Hey, 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 hey. 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 Ooh. Oh, the transition. Okay, all right, we're back to the Skylar sisters. Three of them, isn't there? And Hamilton does marry one of them. Hey. Burr didn't marry one, though, did he? I think so. Hey. Ah, another point of conflict Ooh. between them. All right, sorry. Let's keep rolling. I do, I do, I do, I do. kick right there my heart went boom so this is eliza right here singing okay change your life and by all means lead the way elizabeth schuyler it's a pleasure to meet you schuyler my sister thank you for all your service if it takes fighting a war for us to meet it will have been worth it i'll leave you Ooh. to it what a ladies man right there with that line fighting a war for us to meet it will have been worth it i'll leave you to it one week later i'm writing a letter night me now my luck gets better every letter that you write me she wants to form a harem I'm just saying if you really love me you would share em. Ha! <laughs> Two weeks later in the living room stressing My father's stone Oh we got some Mormon stuff going on now me you would share em. Ha! Two weeks later in the living room stressing My father's stone faced while you're asking for his blessing I'm dying inside as you whine and dine And I'm trying not to cry Cause there's nothing that your mind can't do My nice. father makes his way across the room to you I think what I really like is like the purity of the singing. You know, it's it's very enchanting and enthralling. For a second thinking we're through, but then he shakes your hand and says, be true. And you turn back to me, Nice. Right on cue. I don't have a dollar to 
to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, a dollar for fame, all I have is my Ooh. Dollar to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, an acre of land, a troop to command. Hear how he uses his cadence, even though those don't rhyme, they fit within the rhythm of the scheme, which is really cool right there. He goes, acre of land, troop to command, just a nice little sort of trick to use cadence if you're not bending the rhymes all together just to make it line up and have just that nice flow and symmetry Eliza, I don't have a dollar to my name an acre of land a troop to command a dollar for fame all I have is my honor yeah that's silly Hamilton has ten dollars to his name an acre of land a troop to command a dollar for fame all I have is my honor a tolerance for pain a couple of college credits and my top notch brain insane your family brings out a different side of me Peggy confides in me Angelica tried to take a bite of me no stress my love for you was never in doubt we'll get a little place in Harlem and we'll figure it out I've been living without a family little place in Harlem and we'll figure it out I can't help but think that there's some homage still and some hip-hop roots being connected there since I was a child my father left my mother died I grew up buck wild but I'll never forget my mother's face that was real as long as I'm alive Eliza swear to God you'll never be Ooh, what was that? That delivery right there. I like that. Da, 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 da. It just got more bassy right there. Mm. My mother's face that was real. As long as I'm alive, Eliza, swear to God. You're... Pretty delivery and rhyme scheme. Da 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 back to forth and back and forth. I feel so. I tell you what I do. Eliza. I never know. Walking down the aisle. The harmonies. Wow. You know what's really dope is that we talk about the rap influences, right? And I love how you've got Hamilton and because he's a different character. He just provides a different color to the song through his rapping versus the beautiful singing. But let's touch upon sort of the R&B vibe and the soul to the singing that is incorporated. Remember I talked about singing for a stage and an audience and how it's a different sort of type of singing and personality and how you connect with that audience versus singing on a, on a song that's going to be on mainstream. It's going to be on the radio. I thought it was really cool there and with some of the female elements that I'm getting is that there's more to it than just stage singing, if that makes sense. It, it feels like a little bit of soul, a little bit of an R&B track, just the way that it is, man. I mean, this is, you know, this is a love song. I look at you and I'm helpless. There's nothing I can do, you know, falling in love for the first time, locking eyes and knowing that you're falling deeper and deeper into it. Hey, that was dope, man. Shout out to Explicit Josh, man. Knox, what's good, bro? Hope you're feeling better and viral free. Send love to you from New Zealand. Much love to you, Josh. Always good to see you in the building, my friend. I'm definitely starting to turn a corner. It's been a rough week for me. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of personal stuff going on that I've been dealing with, but this live is helping. Your energy is helping, and Hamilton is helping. That's for sure. Explicit Josh is also super chatted. This is a different flavor of, mu of music. Yeah. Welcome to Hamilton, man. Welcome to Hamilton. All right, so we got Satisfied next. Satisfied. Hang on. I'm going to do a quick quick time check. Quick time check. Helpless. Where are we right now? We're on disc one. We got satisfied. Oh, my God. We got to keep going. All right. Keep going, Knox. Don't give up on yourself. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now, everyone, give it up for the maid of honor, Angelica Skylar! A toast to the groom. To the groom. To the groom. To the groom. To the bride. To the bride. To the bride. Very cool. Again, uh, Ariana pointed this out before, and I caught it as well. Like, you end one track, and it kind of leads into the next track. And what's really cool there is you have, you know, you have the wedding music as they're walking down the aisle. 
in that sound. You know, they didn't say it, but that sound implied what was happening. And then how do we start the next track? You start with the speeches now, after the I do's have been done, after the marriage has happened. Now we're going on with the different speeches, and it's Angelica's turn to give a speech. Very to cool. Groom, to the groom, to the groom, to the bride, to the bride, to the bride. happening she said rewind and the sounds being played in reverse what's happening I remember that night I just might regret that night for the rest of my days I remember those soldier boys just head over themselves to win all I remember that night to da 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 Again, that singing sort of rapping rhythm right there. That was very, very well done. I remember those soldier boys to turn over themselves to win all praise. I remember that dream like can Definitely going through flashbacks, aren't we? Like a dream that you can quite praise. But Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face. I have never been the same. Intelligent eyes in a hunger pang flame. And when you said hi, I forgot my dang day. You said my heart of flame, every part of flame. This is not a game. You strike me as a woman who has never been satisfied. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You forget yourself. You're like me. I'm never satisfied. Is that right? I've never been satisfied. My name is Angelica Schuyler. Alexander Hamilton. Where's your family from? Unimportant. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. So, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match wit with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key and it's a feeling of freedom of seeing the light. Da, da, da. Wow, that little flow switch right there was super dope because she was coming in fast and punchy. And then right there, she just kind of got a little more smooth with it. That was what is happening? Switch with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key and a kite. You see it, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything. Ben Franklin with the kite. Let's go. Electricity. Shout out. The light is Ben Franklin with the key and a kite. You see it, right? Oh my God. And they have electricity. Oh, ho, ho, the double. Oh, the double. The double. Matching minds. Get it? Match, electricity, fire burning, love burning, chemistry between them type of scheme. That's very clever right there. And obviously, we've gone back in time. We're going back to when they first met, when Hamilton met all the sisters. And this is, uh, well, this is not who he married. Oh, dear. Important. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. So, so, so. so this is what it feels like to match with with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key and a kite. You see it, right? The conversation lasted two minutes, maybe three minutes. Everything we said in total agreement. It's a three minutes. It's a bit of a dance. A bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'm going to give it a chance. Two minutes, three minutes, da, 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 da. Again, the cadence bends and it's the rhythm changes. This is, girl can flow. It's a three minutes, a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture, it's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'm gonna give it a bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stance. More wordplay right there, like, you know, posturing with someone, but also like standing up straight with proper posture and almost like standing him up. It's a three minutes, a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture, it's a bit of a stance. He's a bit of a flirt, but I'm gonna give it a chance. I asked about his family, did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting, he looked askance. He's penniless, he's flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz, then he can't even grow it. I want to take him far away from this place, then I turn and see my sister's face, and she is the plan. I know she oh. is the plan. And her eyes wow. are just the plan. Get it, Angelica.
I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for what? But I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander. New York City is insidious. What's really cool there is how she goes into like singing and pushing it but also coming back down in the cadence to wrap some of the parts as well. That was, we, we talk about cadence changes, but what was really cool there was that she didn't just have a cadence change. She had a singing to rap change within the same line and bar, which was dope. We were playing on the three to two and then three, and she's going through this list right now. And I love the connection to helpless and to the song helpless. I saw my sister and she was helpless. She saw that her sister was just, stricken and smitten for Hamilton but I love the connection to the past music and again such good symmetry throughout the writing of this and just reintroducing different themes and elements from prior songs so I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious and Alexander is penniless <laughs> that doesn't mean I want a many less Elizabeth Schuyler it's a pleasure penniless any less that's dope man penniless <laughs> that doesn't mean I want a many less Elizabeth Schuyler it's a pleasure to meet you. Skyler. My sister. Number two. He's after me because I'm a Skyler sister that elevates a status side. Have to be naive to set that aside. Maybe that is why I introduce him to Eliza. Now that's his bride. Nice going Angelica. He was right. He will never be satisfied. Ooh. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister. At night, it's Alexander's Ooh. eyes as I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least, my dear Eliza's his wife. At least, I keep his eyes in my life. Ooh. Man, that, that line. Oh, at least I keep his eyes in my life. I love the poetry and also just the tragedy behind that line. Eyes in my life. Back to this now. So we're fast forwarding again. amazing voice and delivery you know what's really cool is that we were inside her mind and it just felt like a train of thought didn't it and you could just see her raising that toast and having all these flashbacks and these thoughts in her mind and we just kind of like run through and ramble through her thoughts and the conversations of the past and her reasons for why she passed him on to her sister she saw him as an opportunist right and she had you know at that time you know, the best way for her to look out for her family was to marry someone rich, someone with money, someone who could, you know, maintain their social status in the world. And Hamilton definitely didn't have that to offer. He did have some influence and, you know, he ended up doing pretty damn well for himself. But you don't know that at the time. And she's regretting it now and regretting that sort of quick decision that she made to kind of pass him off when it seemed like they had two similar minds and uh, they had a real connection and chemistry. Great storytelling and just sort of great transitions and using the music and the different changes and the harmonies and the singing and the rapping and the delivery. Wow, that was just, that had everything in that song. That packed a punch, man. I may not live. Uh, quick shout outs before we roll into the next one. Antra S, thank you so much for the super chat again. Knox, wow, surprise at this funky and dancy and deep. No regrets checking this out. Thanks for enjoying the Hamilton journey with me. 
Vanessa, Los Angeles, don't burn yourself out. Take care of your health first. Yeah, don't worry. I'll keep I'll keep cruising as much as we can get through. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll keep. I'm doing all right right now. We'll keep it rolling. Ariana said on stage, his song reverses and replays the whole winter ball slash helpless scene. That would be really cool to see. I definitely want to go watch this. I definitely want to go watch this afterwards. DJ Incendration. That's a dope name. Wow, you've always been my favorite. You help me find ways to think about my favorite songs and help me write raps. Can I request my favorite Eminem song? Cold Wind Blows. Greetings from MoCo. We could definitely put Cold Wind Blows on the list, man. You know we're always going to keep doing Eminem. Marshall, Thursdays, baby. Mathers Day. Let's go. All right, let's keep it rolling. To see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I've seen the wonders great and small. I've seen the wonders great and small. Cause if the Tom Cat can get married, if Alexander can get married, there's hope for our ass after all. With a glass to freedom. Hey! Something you will never see again. No matter what she tells you. Let's have another round tonight. There's a glass to the four of us. Oh. To the newly not four of us. Now we'll tell the story of tonight. Let's have another round. Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, I didn't think that huh. you would make it to be sure. Oh, this long running joke now, Aaron Burr, sir. I love it. Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir, I didn't think that you would make it to be sure. Uh, I came to say congratulations for the verse, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. Ha! Ignore that. Spit a verse, Burr. You are the worst, Burr. That happened before when they wanted him to spit a verse and speak out on the revolution. I love the connections again. Burr. We're back in a bar raising a toast. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. <laughs> Ignore them. Congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command instead of man in George's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now be sensible. From what I hear, you've made yourself indispensable. Well, well, I heard you got a special someone on the side, bird. Is that so? What are you trying to hide, bird? I should go. No, these guys should go. What? No. Leave us alone. Man. It's all right, bird. I wish you brought this girl with you tonight, Burr. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Oh, Burr. Congrats again, Alexander. Smile more. I'll see you on the... Smile more. See how the, it changes a little bit from that first advice that he gave him, right? This smile more was said a little bit differently this time as well. It's almost felt like a little bit through gritted teeth side of the war I will never understand you if you love this woman go get her what are you waiting for I'll see you on the other side of the war I'll see you on the other side of the war hmm oh what is this clapping Theodosia writes me a letter every day. day, day. I'm keeping her bed warm while her husband is away. away. He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all of Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we keep loving anyway. We laugh and we cry and we break and we make we laugh and we cry and we break. I love kind of the toned down sort of delivery, right? This is this is really well constrained and yet still showing enough emotion. Man, and now very interesting sort of plot point change. And now we're gonna see some more perspective from Burr himself and Burr's side of things. Anyway, we laugh and we cry and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm so many you try then I'm if there's a reason I'm by the side so many have tried nice delivery see that how you get punchy on that first syllable of the line and then you kind of bring it back and then you punch again on that first syllable and bring it back just a cool little scheme there so if there's a reason I'm by the side so many you try then I'm willing to wait for it I'm willing to wait for it wait for it wait for it wait for it my grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher there are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach you. Teach you, teach you, teach you. 
My mother was a genius. My father commanded respect. When they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. Ooh, we can live in it. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. This is very beautifully written. Between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. And we can live in any way. And obviously, there's a deeper sort of meaning to that. You know, he's talking about losing his family, right? And how death doesn't discriminate and how it's a cruel world. But also, there's almost a little bit of an implication of justification because we know which bracket he feels like he falls into right now because, you know, he's getting her to commit adultery at this moment in time because she's with someone else, isn't she? Between the sinners and the saints, it takes and it takes and it takes and we can live in any way. And then notice how he's singing with the we there, and you hear the female voice off to the side of the mix, like layering with him, like they're both singing this together right here. I'm still alive when everyone who loves me has died. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. cool is that wait for it almost like telling us wait for this wait for this production drop wait for the percussion just to really go in and everything to change and us to push you back with it all that was cool doesn't hesitate he exhibits no restraint takes and he takes wow. and he takes and he keeps winning anyway changes the game plays and he raises the stakes and if there's a reason he seems to thrive and so few survive and god damn it i'm willing to wait for it i'm willing to wait for it life doesn't discriminate between the sinners That was beautiful. That was, that was amazing. That was a really, really good song. Some great lines as well. Almost inspirational in a sense. Just gives me complete chills. You know, wait, wait for it. Wait. <laughs> and the meaning of the wait for it changes depending on the context. Wait for it in the sense of, of waiting for the opportunity to marry the woman that he loves, that he wants to be with. Waiting for it in terms of his, his time. Waiting for his chance to rise like Hamilton. And I love the change too because a lot of this we get Hamilton's perspective on things, don't we? And we, we're naturally rooting for Hamilton and we're siding with his story. And this was interesting because we get to know a little bit about Burr. We get to learn a little bit more about who he is as a person and he kind of rounds out here in terms of character development and um, you know he, he becomes more human to us doesn't he He doesn't just become Hamilton's rival we kind of appreciate his stance and all the pressures that he feels right and he feels like he has a huge burden passed on from his family in terms of making a name for himself and he's so worried about misstepping and he's so worried about failing in a sense that it explains why he's more reserved and all of the pain that he's been through and all of the loss that he has been through himself. And, you know, he's almost protecting himself in a way. And what's really cool about that is, again, we talk about the soul and just sort of the gospel feel as things really pushed and crescendoed there. And what a great feel for production for the rises 
in the falls of emotion. You know, he did a great job pulling you in on those parts when everything was kind of scaled down. It was kind of more whispering cadence, beautifully con sung and constrained. And then all of a sudden, everything just pushed back. Big drums, big sounds, choir chanting. Everything gets so wide in the back of the mix. And it just, wow, that was beautiful. What happened? YouTube cut it? All right. I wonder why that is. All right. Yeah. Did we wait for it? Okay. I was just checking uh, notifications from YouTube. I've never been in this situation. I don't know what happens. I guess we'll have to stop playing this song. Hopefully we can get on to the next song. Well, we'll try the next song and we'll see if it cuts out on me. Streams are interrupted when copyright content is detected. After copyright material is no longer being streamed, streams are automatically re-enabled. So obviously the stream got re-enabled. It doesn't tell me what song got flagged. And this is the issue with the copyright system. Because I'm sat here breaking down things, making transformative content, which falls under fair use policy, but an algorithm does not know that. And we have a very poor copyright system sometimes. So... Hopefully it won't cut out again. If someone could do me a favor, though, I don't know where it cut out. Man, I was really proud of that dissection and what I was talking about. So can someone tell me where I finished in terms of my thought process? Because I, I don't know where you guys cut out. And I was kind of summarizing that song, and I think it's important. Pause it more, I suppose. Okay. Da, 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 da. It cut out after the wait for it. Fair use is a defense in court, which will never win against. No, it's it's not that. Disney can still monetize this video. Fair use is different. I'm not I'm not monetizing this video. They can monetize it. This is reactions. This has nothing to do with that. And that doesn't matter because legally I'm not doing anything wrong. It cut in the middle of me explaining. I know. I want to know where I was explaining, though, so I can pick up the thought process if you guys could do me a favor. Whole interruption was like 60 seconds. Right. Right. So what I was saying was I was talking about how I felt like this was very important for the character development of, of Burr. Right? Because for me, Burr is this Burr is this villain right now. He's the adversary to Hamilton. And what this song does is it rounds him out. It makes him more relatable. It makes him more human. Okay. And for me, Burr talks about the different meanings of wait for it, right? I'm just trying to catch up with chat with you guys as well. Burr was Burr was more humanized. Different meanings for wait for it, him waiting for to marry the person that he loves. The reason why he's waiting for it with Hamilton, he sees Hamilton rising, but he has more trepidation because he's vulnerable. He explains to us the pain and the loss that he went through and how he has this obligation to continue his family legacy, and he feels a lot of pressure from that. And maybe that's why he's not as gung-ho and cavalier because he feels like he has so much more to lose than Hamilton, who has absolutely nothing to lose because Hamilton literally is coming from nothing, whereas Burr is coming from something. Hence the difference in character development and character arc through history really with them so I, I i love that and then i love the production right and the rises and the falls within production 
the rise and the big impactful percussive hits, the choir sounds that just push you out and push it back and make it feel massive and so much soul injected into the production. And then the moments when it drops and Burr and his singing and his just controlled cadence just brings you in and there's that little bit of vulnerability just dancing and then pushes you back again and rises and explodes with it all. That's amazing, man. I wonder what's going to happen to the stream now, it, like, once this ends. Will this actually upload, or will it get cut out? I don't know, but apparently we need to try and pause some more. So we'll have to do that when we do uh, when we do stay alive. All right, let's see if we can stay alive with the stream. All right? Knox has got a little bit more left in the bank. Pausing to stay alive. stay alive. I have never seen the general so despondent. I have taken over writing all his correspondence. Com oh, I like that despondent correspondence. Also pausing to stay alive. Chris writes, George attacked the British forces. I shoot back. We have resorted to eating our horses. Local merchants deny us equipment. Literally, they resorted to eating their horses, staying alive. Since they only take British money, so sing a song of sixpence. The cavalry's not coming. But sir, Alex, listen, there's only one way for us to win this. Provoke outrage. Outright. That's right. Don't engage. Strike by night. Remain relentless till their troops take flight. Staying alive. Make it impossible to justify the cost of uh -huh. the fight. Outrun, outrun, outlast, outlast. Hit him quick, get out fast. See the play on that? Before they were outgunned, they were outmanned. Now they're figuring out how to respond to that with outlast. Da 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 da. Same sort of rhythm. Again, the symmetry that connects the songs throughout is dope. Stay alive. Oh, I love this piano. Until this horror show is past, we're gonna fly a lot of flags half mast. Raise a glass. I go back to New York in my apprenticeship. I ask for French aid. I play that Francis sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton. Fly the flag at half mast, obviously because of tragedy. But I wonder if that's a shot at the British flag as well. Apprenticeship. I ask for French aid. I play that Francis sent a ship. I stay at work with Hamilton. We write essays against slavery, and every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery. We Cut supply lines, we steal contraband We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand And every day, sir, entrust me with a command And every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand Instead of Hamilton talking about how, you know, he wants to be more on the front lines And Washington saw so much value in Hamilton's mind He didn't want to risk his life a lot of times And Hamilton really fought uh, to be at the Battle of Yorktown And at the end of it all as well he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command. I'm a general. Wee! Yeah, he's not the <laughs> choice I would have gone with. He shits the bed at the Battle of Monmouth. Ah. Everyone attack! Retreat! Attack! Retreat! What are you doing? Lee, get back on your feet! But there's so many of them! I'm sorry, is this not your speed? Hamilton, ready, sir. Have Lafayette take the lead. Yes, sir. A thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat. As we snatch our stalemates from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee. Was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices. In the side. Oh, we're leading up to the duel now, aren't we, with Lee? Uh huh. From crisis to crisis, the best thing he can do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. <laughs> Don't do a thing. History will prove him wrong. But sir, we have a war to fight. Let's move along. Strong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Ooh. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence, do not throw away your shot. Do not throw away your shot, aka your shot at life, but also don't throw away your shot in this duel. Take the man on. Let's go. Wow. That was dope, man. All right, listen, I'm drinking lots of water to keep my voice good. I think it's a good point to pause anyways because we don't want to let it play too long. I'll be right back. Gotta go to the bathroom. Bathroom run. Ghost, hold it down. Ghost emoji in chat. Let's go. We're definitely gonna do this duel.
All right, here we go. We're going to do something just disturbed me in chat. Something disturbed me before we carry this on. He has, stop with the fake news. Someone tried to say Tom Brady retired. Tom Brady hasn't retired yet. That's ridiculous. Don't you dare do that to my life. All right, here we go. This is the 10 dual commandments. Let's stay alive with YouTube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the 10 dual commandments. It's the 10 dual commandments. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, I love the Ten Dual Commandments playing off of Moses and the Ten Commandments. Let's go. Number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. If they apologize, no need for further action. Number two, if they don't, grab a friend. That's your second. Your lieutenant, when there's reckoning to be reckoned. Number three, that's clever. Your second, like the second commandment, but also the second in a duel. The second in a duel is kind of like the umpire. You know, they support you. If there's foul play, they step in. You might even step in and get involved in the conflict, but normally their job is to resolve the conflict. Have your seconds meet face to face. Negotiate a, or negotiate a time. Yeah, also allude in homage to the 10 rap commandments. Have rap your commandments seconds well. meet face to face. Negotiate a, or negotiate a time and place. This is commonplace, especially between recruits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four. If they don't reach a peace, that's all right. Shout out to Biggie Smalls, man. Disputes die and no one shoots. Number four. If they don't reach a peace, that's all right. Time to get some pistols and the doctor on site. You pay them in advance. You treat them with civility. You have him turn around so he can have deniability. Five. Four before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and dry. Number six. Leave a note for your next to kin. Tell them where you've been. Pray that hella heaven lets you in. Seven. Confess your sins. Ready for the moment of adrenaline. When you finally face your opponent. Number eight. Your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second. See if they can set the record straight. Alexander. Aaron Burr, sir. Can we agree the duels are dumb and immature? Sure. But your man has to... I didn't realize that Burr was the second in that duel that Lawrence was in. Wow, their paths really do cross a lot. Is that true or is that just written into this? Somebody's got to check that Burr, for me. Sir. Can we agree the duels are dumb and immature? Sure. But your man has to answer for his words, Burr. With his life? We both know that's absurd, sir. Hang on. How many men died because Lee was inexperienced and ruinous? Okay, so we're doing this. Number nine. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten, pace is fire. Wow, number nine, right? Like playing off of a nine, like a nine millimeter, but also 10 because you do take, I t I'm telling you during these times, man, this is how they solve shit. This was some gangster ish that they were on. All right. You got a problem. Someone discrediting your honor, someone else's honor. That means a lot to you. You challenge them to a duel. Y'all line up, man. Show down at noon, 10 paces, walk it out and then Take your pistol shots and see if you got good aim. Let's go. Let's go. No, Burr was not the second. Yeah, okay. All right, so plays on the fact that, uh, right, okay. All right, well, that was written into it then. All right, this is Meet Me Inside. I got a little bit left of me, guys, and I do have to have to go, and I'll figure out a way to complete this for you, whether it's here on YouTube or, or what I'm going to do, but definitely – I want to keep doing this. I also want to watch the musical, and I'm really interested in the Hamilton mixtape as well. All right, let's go. Lee, do you yield? You shot him in the side. Yes, he yields. I'm satisfied. Yo, we got to clear the field. Yo, we won. Here comes the general. This should be fun. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Burr, get a medic for the general. Yes, sir. Lee, you will never agree with me, but believe me, these young men don't speak for me. Thank you for Service. That's right. Hamilton, sir. Meet me inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. 
Oh, I love that. Do, 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 do. I, again, I love how the production sometimes matches sort of the rhythm of the delivery of what's happening. And, of course, General Lee's been shot through the ribs. I don't think he didn't die from the duel, did he? No, he didn't. He was just kind of disgraced after that and, of course, fell out of favor, didn't serve anymore. Um, but Hamilton, as a second, steps in to end the duel after he was shot. So, hence him doing his job. Son, don't call me son. This war is hard enough without infighting. Lee called you out. We called us. You bluff. solve nothing. You aggravate our allies to the south. You're absolutely right. John should have shot him in the mouth. That would have shut him up. Son, I'm not your son. Watch your tone. I am not a maiden in need of defending. Charles I am Lee, wrong. Thomas Conway. These men take your name and they rake it through the mud. My name's been through a lot. I can take. Well, I don't have your name. I don't have your titles. I don't have your land. But if you know, if you gave me command of a battalion. The group of men to lead I could fly above my station after the war Or you could die And we need you alive I am more than willing to die Your wife needs you alive Son, I need you alive Call me son one more time Oh son, I need you alive And you just hear how it just rises right there And it just this The production has great crescendo points With the delivery And with the personality of it all and willing to die Your wife needs you alive Son, I need you alive Call me son one more time Oof Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Sir? Go home. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. The battle between Alexander and Washington right there. A little bit of confrontation and conflict between them. Because like we said, Alexander, young, wanting the glory, desperate to make a name for himself, wanting to fight, wanting to be at the front lines, Washington appreciating his mind and, and his value in building the future and not just dealing with the here and now. Lizzie H., thank you so much for the tip. Always love your lives. Thank you so much. Fire emoji, please. Thank you very much. Connor Johnson, always incredible content. Keep on your grind. Hey, thank you so much, Connor, for the $50 donation, man. You absolutely rock. Please, fire emoji in chat. Antra S said, wait for it is my favorite so far. So versatile and unpredictable. Yeah, man. How impressive was that? Jay Skellington, keep up the good work. Wait for it. You're going to lose your mind in the cabinet meetings. Let's go. Drock Savage said, wait for it is top three. I agree, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ronald McKelly said, I knew you would enjoy Hamilton from your Encanto reaction. I'm so eager to hear your thoughts on the rest of the story and future reactions. Keep doing your things. Let's go. Thank you so much. KM said, Hamilton is on Disney Plus, by the way. You know what's happening. Explicit Josh, another 12-hour shift done. Been working my ass off lately. My fiance and I are setting to get married in October. Hopefully the poster and album comes soon so I can crank it up in the car. Might have to get a shirt too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it takes a little bit longer to get out to you in NZ, but they've all shipped. Yeah, they have all shipped. So we should be money with that, my friend. Thank you so much for the support as always. Shout out to KM. Thank you for this. Hamilton is on Disney Plus, by the way. Thank you for the fire emoji. Antra S, loving this. Stay strong, Knox. Guys, thank you so much for it. Thank you so much for the love. Where are we right now? All right, someone said that they would love to see me get through guns and ships at the very least. So that's what we'll shoot for. We'll shoot to get to uh, to guns and ships. So next up we got that would be enough because this has been crazy. We're going on two hours, 40-minute live stream. Insane, people. Again, the connection, man. So good. Look around, look around. How long have you known? A month or so. Eliza, you should have told me. I wrote to the general a month ago. No. I begged him to send you home. You should have told me. I'm not sorry. I knew you'd fight until the war was won. Don't you deserve a chance to meet your son? Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Will you relish being a poor man's wife, unable to provide for your life? I read. You know what's really cool? Obviously, she's pregnant, and she's pleaded with Washington to send him home to be a father. Meet me inside towards the end of that. What was Hamilton getting pissed off at? Being talked down upon. Don't call me son. Isn't it funny how son, 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 the key word, and all of a sudden, son takes a different connotation and a different, more powerful meaning here on the back end of it. 
Really cool connection, man. Being a poor man's wife, unable to provide for your life. I relish being your wife. Look around, look around. Look at where you are. Look at where you started. Nice. The fact that you're alive is a miracle. Just stay alive, that would be enough. And if this child shares a fraction of your smile, or a fragment of your mind, to look outward, that would be enough. I don't pretend to know the challenges you're facing. The world you keep erasing it. Wow, those strings are so beautiful right now. The production's amazing on this, man. Orchestral symphony. Creating in your mind, but I'm... Ah. Shoot. Da 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 I don't know. I don't think we're gonna make it. I didn't even get a notification. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with uh, with YouTube. I don't know if it's a three strike policy on this, but honestly, I'm not going to risk it. I'm sorry, guys. I I really don't want to push it. I've worked so hard to uh, develop my channel and to get it to this point in time. It sucks that the algorithm keeps catching it, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm fighting a bot right now. I'm not fighting a physical person reviewing this. I mean, obviously, I can, I can fight a person. I can react to the rest of this, edit it, and upload. If there's an issue, YouTube's going to let me know, and then I can work with them on getting it released and getting it up, whereas in the live stream, I, I don't have the opportunity to do that and have this back and forth and to protect myself. So... I just, I, I, very unfortunately, I just don't want to risk it again. I don't, I don't want to go on the, uh, on the three strike rule. I mean, you guys love this channel. You love my breakdowns. I don't think you, I know how much you would love to see me keep pushing on, but I also believe that you don't want to see anything happen to my channel and you want to see me be here and thrive for a long time, which is super unfortunate because this has been a lot of fun, but we'll find a way. I always find a way. And uh, obviously, I'm really enjoying this. I think the writing's amazing. So we're, we'll do it. Don't worry. We'll, I'll, I'll do more Hamilton. I'll upload it. It probably won't be a live stream continued, but it'll be an upload. So we'll still get through it. And I'll just record it and let it play and just give you my raw, honest reaction in that moment in time. You know that's going to happen. So, but yeah. The baseball player in me is going three strikes and you're out. So we've gone through two right now. So I don't really want to risk it anymore. I, I'm worried now that we've done this whole reaction and awesome breakdown, and I've really enjoyed the energy, and that after I end this, it's not even going to get uploaded. So we'll see with that. But listen, let me shout out some people. Let me shout you guys out. Um, I tell you what, I'll give you one more freestyle to send us off, okay? I'll give you one last freestyle. We'll send it off. Let's at least do that and have some fun. Let me give you guys just a little bit more entertainment for being here this whole time, for supporting and just, just being awesome and for being understanding. You know I appreciate you guys. It's a great community on here. You guys make everything so worth it. Ding Dong, thank you for the super chat. I love, I leave it to be safe. It's been amazing. Thank you so much, Ding Dong. Anna Belen, be a fuerte. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you. Ariana, don't keep going. We don't want you to be in trouble. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. You know I don't want to upset you guys.
Ariana, I got a suggestion for you that is not Hamilton related. Mirror Mirror by F Hero. Millie featuring Shang Ben of Stray Kids. Ooh, that sounds fun. That sounds super dope. KM is super chatted. Mixtape next when you have time, of course. Thank you so much, guys. Listen, shout out to you. Shout out to all the amazing Super Chats today and all the support for helping me and my goal to go full-time here on YouTube. You guys really are amazing. Can't wait to see you enjoy the rest, however it happens. Bubble of Earth, thank you. Recommend Freestyle Love Supreme in the open and close of 2013. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, hope, it's, I hope this uploads afterwards. Seth Patrick, hey man, I appreciate your work. Keep doing what you do. Man, it's a little anticlimactic, isn't it? All right, come on. Come on, let's get you hyped for one more. Let's do this beat one more time. I wonder if I can see it better. There it is. There's my waves. All right, comment some words. It's been great. Thank you. Video breakdowns will suffice. Thank you so much, KM. Hey, Seth Patrick. Thank you so much for the super chat. Comment some words real quick, guys. Answer S. Thank you, Knox. Love it here. One more time on this beat. Let's see what else we got again. Oh, man, I'm tired this time, too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mind spinning in my head is so crazy. I retire these rappers like Brady. Shot goes out to number 12, who's the greatest? Y'all want the smoke? You don't want to really battle with the gold. I go at your throat. You don't really know. You don't want this raising sacrifices as they slit their throat. Here we go. You don't want the smoke when I pop it. Pop shit and I talk that often. YouTube, yes I am screwed, yes I know I got a copyright strike, maybe two Hopefully the stream doesn't end, but here we go, I continue Knox flips it all around, flip that win, and I stack up them wins Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the greatest of them all? I stay alive, I stay with the vibe, I stay with the freestyle Like I'm taking my shot Like I'm sitting in the middle of the duel But there's no seconds, cause I take the one And I take that number two And I shit on these rappers, better move I am in the groove, I am back in my zone Flip it and I send it back home Knox is coming off the top of the dome Do I breathe? Never, like a brainstorm Better bring an umbrella for the weather Either I get clever, everybody that I do it Running hard like leather I'm at your throat like a vampire I will never retire I spit it through the wire And I love it And I'm going the distance There's no distance between us When I get on this track And I run this shit I'm holding court like Serena Or Venus Take it to the stars And I flip around Driving my car up and out of space Please show me space Where you see me I'm an alien An alien mind With these designs With these rhymes Every single time Never satisfied I cut ya I'm the director Take a look like I'm the inspector What you want, you can never keep up with my ledgers On these dark nights, rest in peace to Heath Ledger Still clever, still I rise, still I'm the bane of your demise Every time I do it, come and hide, come and see what I have inside I got so much more, flipping like a butterfly Mr. Superfly with a metamorphosis Lucifer, let loose of her Every time I do this, man, it feels like a blur I'm so amazing, I'm so crazy Shout goes out, I raise it up Never stop it, like I'm throwing it up I'm so sick with it, about to go viral My mind is in a spiral Shout goes out the ghost Every time I take it back from the coast to the coast Y'all know who this is, y'all know when I'm boasting History 101, classes in session with Professor Knox Knock knock at your door and I rap so outside the box Y'all got that right, rap outside the box Just call me Santa Claus on Father Christmas Put blacklist up on your wish list Here we go, understand when I hit this There's no stopping when I hit the target Feeling the force like I'm Yoda I'm a soldier and I keep on rolling My head is feeling colder and my mind is feeling older Still I hold to my composure YouTube trying to cancel me But not yet, I'm buzzing yet I'm still sober Drinking that water while I take a piss All these rappers take the mix So I guess I grab the toilet paper Then I take a shit <laughs> Ain't no way you baking this Pigs hate the way that I'm taking this And making this I flip it all up and I mix it up Back up in the cut and I'm like So what? Please Slipping your syrupy too fast I gave you brain freeze With the different bars I go hard every time I'm on the beach Shit I beat it up Call that shit a battery I'm charged up So what? 
take it back home You don't want to see me in the strike zone with the bars You better lawyer up Lawyer this when I'm in the cut My sentences dispense And I never stop, I'm swinging for the top of the fence Naysayers, never mind This is my time, really Everybody's saying, man, you hella fine Like I'm drinking hella wine I just get better with age I'm an animal locked inside of the cage Waiting for my day to come out and come play And then it's bye-bye, but I ain't talking in sync My rhyme is in sync, Mr. Ha-Ha, Mr. Laugh It Off Ain't no way you keep up with this, man. I'm getting so high, high, like I'm smoking blunts up in the sky. I am 747 high, got my wings out, better fly with it. Ride with it, got them feeling helpless. Yes, they cannot keep up with me, I got you feeling hopeless. But less that, I put my hope into this. I give y'all the rope that you need to climb, that you need to keep going to find the strength that still exists. I'm bringing it so fast, and I smash, about to drop my chains on the game. So flip it up, stacking them dollars. Y'all understand, I'm sorry we ended the live early, but still, yo, holla for the freestyle. There we go. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed that freestyle to end it. I hope you enjoyed that freestyle to end it. I think we hit a lot of the words. KM is super chatted. Yeah, fire. Love y'all. Truly enjoyed my time here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the entertainment for today. I hope you enjoyed the freestyles. Thank you so much, Samuel Barm. I was definitely hitting a lot of your words, man. That was fun. Next Saturday, I have my best music video I've ever done dropping. One of my biggest songs. I couldn't be more excited about it. Next Saturday. Stay tuned. It's going to be huge. You will appreciate my art. Thank you everybody for your patience today. Thank you for sticking with me. Through it all. You know, I, this is one of the things I find very important. I talk about mental health a lot. Please remember that no matter what you're going through. Oh. That's a good reminder. KM. KM, you won the signed CD today. Email noxldmv at gmail.com, KM. Congratulations, brother. You win the signed CD. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for rocking with me. Listen. Listen, life sucks, man. Life is hard. Life will kick you when you are least ready for it and least expect it. Please keep that in mind when dealing with people on the internet, when dealing with people in real life. You don't know what someone else is going through. And no matter what you're going through, I hope you realize that you are never, ever truly alone. We all go through pain. We all go through suffering. Yes, there's different levels and layers. If you stack enough weight on top of a person, each and every one of us can crumble. Some of us can stand a little bit more than others, but you don't know people's situations and conditions. There's so much that affects people that we don't see and battles unseen within the mind. But please know that you are never, ever truly alone. There's always someone who can relate. There's always someone who can empathize. There's always someone... Who's willing to support if you let them. And the small steps every day are so important. Never forget the things that truly matter. Family, friendship, love, loyalty, money, fame. Those things come and go. Never forget the things that truly matter. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Take care of your minds. Take care of your health. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay positive. It's Knox Nation. I will catch you again. You guys have a great day. Thank you, Ding Dong. Just much love and appreciation for you. I appreciate you too, Ding Dong. Take care and have a great one, guys. I'm out.